Hey guys, welcome to another Ocarina of Time randomizer. I'm Bill from Good Old Days Gaming, and I do these from time to time. Perhaps a little more often, because it seems to be what you guys like, as opposed to all the other Let's Plays. <laughs> yep, so my name is Bill once again, Wilhelm von Spupo with the Goron Ruby. I don't know. And I have an azure blue tunic with a light blue fairy, because why not? We're feeling kind of blue. Like the 1950s song, Blue Moon. That, <laughs> that song cracks me up. Just the way that it starts like bomb 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 dang a dang dang a ding a dong ding blue moon blue blue. It's ridiculous, but I love it. All right, so Tomato's house. Let's see what we got. The rules are very similar to kind of the last seed. Shop sanity is enabled. Okay, blue rupee bomb bomb bomb. All right, we're not gonna do that. Simmer. Another blue rupee. We really are feeling kind of blue, aren't we? A heart container. Hey, I have double damage enabled, so everything is going to do twice as much damage as it normally does. And Mido's house was kind of a ripoff. It's like the vanilla game or something. But shop sanity, I never finished that. The last seed, if you watched that, I only did one item shop sanity. This time, it's the maximum four items. So everything on the left side of every single shop in this game could potentially have a major item. Also, token sanity is enabled if you watched the previous seed. All the Skulltulas that are in a major or mini dungeon potentially had a major item that I needed. This time, I included all 100 Skulltulas, so it's not limited to just the dungeons this time, because personally, I feel like that added the most flavor to the randomizer compared to the ones of old. Well, let's go check the sword. I gotta get some more rupees since we're kind of scrounging up the dollars for my buddy's car. Leaning on Sheena. And staring at rocks! Are we really clunking this up? Mr. Clunks a lot. And you missed the blue rupee. It starts. Alright. Let's crawl through the hole. Fast forward because patience is a thing. After so many times playing this game, you just want to get to the good stuff, man. It's like a drug. You know, you don't have time for all these frivolities. Just give me what I want. It's like adults always cranking because they don't have the Christmas spirit anymore. How many movies have they made on that? It always takes like a little kid to be like, but daddy. And then, all of a sudden, you got a sculptural token and you're like, oh, Santa, he is real. Is real? What? Nobody knows. One, two, three, four, five, and in the hole we go. Oh, apparently it needed six. Counting much? Uh, much net? Too much. Crawl through the hole. Adventure starts. Also, I want this blue rupee because it's bugging me. Let's go see Sir Punch a lot over here. Look at him practicing. Well, pow! Yeah, there you go. That's how it tastes. 1952, baby. That's how many rupees I have. 1952. I don't even think rock and roll started yet. It was still all... Like, old timey. Great description. Tell stories much? And eh, much, not too much. All right, Mr. Shop, what have you for me today? I see the Goron bracelet. Hold on, how much is it, though? Because last seed, everything was like over 100 rupees. 20 rupees, that's it. Give it, give it, give it. I want to put it on my arm and become Sly Stallone. Yeah. No. That guy is awesome. I, you can't hate Sylvester Stallone. He is an upstanding dude. Zora Tunic. You don't need the tunics in this game. Kakiri all the way, baby. All you need is the hearts. If that's not true to real life, just get strong, be good to your body, and you could do anything. You don't need all this cosmetic nonsense. Although I do like this blue, man. I had a shirt that was, was kind of this blue once, and it matched my eyes really well, and people were like, well, dang, there's some more blue, see? This is the thing. But yeah, then that shirt got bleach on it, and it just was ruined and never the same. And that was a sad day. Not as sad as the day that, like, remember my Yoshi's Woolly World Let's Play? If you watched that, I had a little plush yellow dinosaur with a green belly and green toes, and I had a baby blanket. And I had to go to the bathroom one time when I was like a real little kid when this happened. So like Lioness from Snoopy, I was uh, sucking my thumb, carrying my baby blanket, and also holding that little plush dinosaur. And then I was standing up to pee in the toilet and I dropped the dinosaur and peed all over him. And I was so sad. And my mom, being nice, tried to fish it out and clean it, but there was no way. Because he was all kinds of yellow at that point. And that is my tragic childhood story. Whatever. Let's get some rupees, because there's more shops. And, uh, four-time shop sanity. Actually, there's three shops, because there's the bomb chew shop. Although, that's... Well, no, it's not going to sell bomb chews, though. Because shop sanity is a thing. Whatever. 
we're gonna have almost a max wallet so we'll do the normal things also other things that are enabled oh wait i don't have a stick i can't get that spider in there well crud we gotta find some sticks dude i don't have bombs so i can't play the game i can't play the slingshot game because it doesn't check for that all right beardy what do you got for me i see a song dude what is that is that the song of storms no nocturne of Sh it's cheap A big po bottle for 25 rupees, that's it? Well, I want this, absolutely. He's got sticks, too. Keep that in mind. I want that bottle, though. Okay, well, hang on now. Uh, let's see what... Uh... Actually, I don't care about that guy. I can't buy anything. I have five rupees. Let's just go to the castle. I have fast travel enabled. It's a feature of the randomizer, and I did it this time just for convenience. This is the weird egg as well. You can shuffle this, but that's kind of a pain to go to Timbuktu for eggs. You go to the grocery store for eggs. But you can see I have Furore's Wind already. That's part of the fast travel. And I have the Serenade of Water and Prelude of Light. I don't have an ocarina yet, though, so I can't use them. But it's just a nice feature. Getting some more money. Because I want that big Poe bottle. Because, you know, the Door of Time is open, as usually. That's kind of the standard way of playing these randomizers. Um... I could become an adult and cash that in because once again I edited the big Poe requirement so rather than needing all 10 big Poes, cashing in one gives you the final reward. So if I buy that bottle, I could do that. Otherwise I gotta go get Princess, uh, what's her face's letter and learn Impa's song. Let's see what item that is. Because once again you could eliminate that and open the Kakariko gate from the start but for some reason I never do that. I don't know. Well, this guy's got junk. Good luck getting that off the ground, buddy. All right, let's go to Beards a lot. This guy, he sells all the goods. Look at this guy's shop, man. Look at him. That is one upstanding businessman. So now I got a bottle and a big po. It's still daytime. Let's go to the castle. Cockle doodle doo, Talon. Wake up. The house is on fire. And the cat's caught in the dryer. Philosophy's a liar when your home is your headstone. Icon is the last chance for hope. When well, there's no such thing as heroes. But my name is Link and I'm wearing a blue tunic. Yeah. Pushing some blocks. Also, this is another, um, I don't know, quality of life thing. Just crawl through here and you magically get a letter. You don't have to go hopping around guards. There you go. Let's go give it to the dude and open the gate. Ms. Metal Bra herself. Impa. Hey, I will take that because of the whole double damage thing, which we have yet to see come into play. Also, before I forget, I gotta hand in that paw, dude. Hello, you creepy thing. Have this. There it is, 100 points. Another blue rupee, jeez. Well, we got a max wallet. All right, here we are in Kakariko Village as a child, and I'm gonna say, screw you, chicken, because that's another thing I added this time around. There is a section, if you go to ootrandomizer.com, which is how you get this Ocarina of Time version 4.0 randomizer, or whenever you're watching this, whatever the latest build may be, there is a section called Detailed Logic, where you can omit any treasure location in the game from being part of the giant shuffle and you can also include speedrun tricks and glitches that you want to be required in order to beat the game so what i did is eliminated all the things about this game that i can't stand to do like ice cavern andrew's chickens dante's freestanding heart piece we do need a chicken though because i can check the back grotto behind the potion shop over here. That's really all I can do, because it's daytime, the kid's stomping around in the grave, so I can't check him. Because he's like, hey, don't do that! Dompe would get mad! And then Dompe's there, and he doesn't care. Um, yeah, so this grotto is really it. And then, Death Mountain, I suppose? I gotta get sticks, though. The Skulltulas. Keep that in mind. I should probably go back to the shop and get a whole bunch of sticks. Because all 100 Skulltulas are potentially something, and that's huge. That's huge! Holy crap! I don't have an ocarina, though. Don't get too excited. Although it can't be too far away, right? This is Ocarina of Time, after all. What are you supposed to do if you can't play a song? 
There's no dancing. And that's a sad life. Because you gotta dance, man. It'll be, be okay. Do doop do doo. What's up, buddy? I'm back for more. Your best customer. You got a stick, no way. Let's buy him out. Ah, uh, I'm gonna only get nine because 99 rupees. But a stick ain't one. What? That didn't make sense at all. All right, time to go on a spidey hunt. So, nearby spiders. Um. Also, I gotta come back here for a little Richard and um, the bomb shoe shop. Also, speaking of, there's a spider in the tree over this way. Although, wait a second, I handed in the letter. Before that, let's get the Keaton mask, get the mask thing going. Cause you gotta get it going if you wanna have fun. What? I don't even know what that was. That was just like a made up song off the top of my skull bone noggin. That's my favorite kind of noggin. There is the chicken girl dancing and running after the massive cock. That could be misinterpreted much. Smash the tree and smash the spider. What do you got for me, baby? A token? You're not supposed to do that. Also, I have an empty bottle. Let's scoop some bugs, dude. Because remember, every magic bean plot has a spider. And those things are supposed to be everything. I don't know why that one was still a token. He's disobeying the rules. It's nighttime, nighttime, nighttime. Stay on the thing. So we'll grab this money, check the bomb shoe shop, and go save little Richard. You know, all the flat top cats and the dungaree dolls are headed to the gym to the sock hop ball. The Jordan's really jumping, the cats are going wild. The music really sends me out, dig my crazy style, I'm ready. Ready, ready, ready to rock and roll. <laughs> it's like little Richard meets Tom Waits. Oh, that rasp. It's fun, though. All right, Spider, I'm coming for you. Prepare yourself. Wow, look at that. He did two hearts of damage, and he dropped a heart piece. So there we go. Negated everything. But there's our first example of two things. Token sanity in the overworld and double damage. That double damage, man, is going to creep up on you, too. Look at that dog. He looks like Little Richard. But he's just a dick, that dirty dog. This, however, is Richard. Come on, little buddy. Hungry fella? Let's go. I always wait a little bit, because one time I bolted to this little back alley, and he wasn't there anymore, and I was like, Richard, what's happening? Fat guy in a little coat. All right. Good golly, Miss Molly. Give me something good. Dang it, with the blue. I was just joking about feeling blue, sort of. In a sense. Like a child's face or a puppy dog. In a sense. Oh, what is wrong with me? Does this guy have the bow like last time? No, he has two wallets? They're both too expensive to buy. That means one of them's fake. Remember the ice traps that are scattered around in the mix of treasures? That means there's a wallet out in the field somewhere. Hmm. Although, you know what? Wait a second. Hang on. Bomb shoes? Nah, too expensive. I think you need to find the bomb shoes out in the field, too, before you can actually buy them. And well, that's a bunch of crow. What's up, Talon? I'm here to throw around some chickens. Start looking. You just wait and see, Mr. Mutton Chops. Watch and learn, he says. Well, I was watching. And you know what I saw? Yeah, you found one of my favorites. I just need to find one more. Where is he? I'd like to know. Pick up every chicken but the one that you need. I hate this game. Now, oh, well. There we go. What do you got for me besides Malin? And her beautiful golden pipes? Speaking of golden, get me out of here. All right, we're in the back of the shed, in the back of the ranch. I went outside and waited for nighttime because we gotta hunt spiders, after all. And although I do not have the slingshot or the boomerang, I think there's still two spiders I can get on this ranch. There's one behind the whole ranch itself, and there's one, another blue rupee? Jeez. There's one in the crate or the tree, I can't remember where it is, but it's like right outside by the houses. The houses. How's it gonna be? 
Let's go. So I guess we'll get the one on the back because we're right next to it coming out here. Nighttime in the ranch. Lon Lon Ranch is a nice place. I like it. Backpedaling, running away from the massive bats. Put on a mask and scare them because it's fun. I hear them crittling, crawling, crittering, whatever. No way. No way! What are the chances of finding the ocarina? Well, hang on! Fast travel, dude! Smile! You're traveling! Henry Rollins! Oh, yeah, I also did uh, Malin's voice for the ocarina notes. So let's go to Lake Hylia, man. We can set up Scarecrow song. Um, isn't there... Actually, there's another spider right here. The big tree is as an adult, but... Isn't there a spider over here by the... Uh, the scarecrow spot? Yeah, I see him. What else is there? There's, there's one on the back of the lab, but I need the boomerang to get that. And the slingshot. Um, palm trees, dude! Yeah! No more blue rupees. The luck is coming now. This is what I'm used to. All this crazy luck coming out of nowhere. It takes like a whole day to swim across this lake. I might fast forward. Because, uh, yeah, you know. It also seems to be going slightly faster than the last seed, and I think I know why. That's a heart piece down there, okay. Um, when I was recording that last seed, Windows was updating, like, this massive update. My computer restarted, like, nine times to install whatever the heck it downloaded. But let's play the uh, Scarecrow song. Actually, regarding this, I have not said yet another quality of life change that I enabled this time around. I enabled the feature Free Scarecrow Song, so I don't even have to be doing this, because what that means is at any position where Pierre could spawn and you could hookshot him... Ooh, the sun's coming up. Perfect time to go fishing. Let's do it. Um, all you have to do is pull out your ocarina in that instance, and Pierre will sprout out of the ground as if you did play the Scarecrow Song, regardless of if you set it up. Which is another just speed it up quality of life thing, and I'm all about that this time around. It's kind of like last year when I did the two Ocarina of Time seeds. The first one was, was kind of rough around the edges, and then the second time I was fast-forwarding and cutting out all the nonsense. Because I knew what I was doing, and that's kind of how this one, I think, is going to be. Well, let's simmer down, because I'm kind of going hyper here. And I'm going to go fishing. Yeah, crud. See, you try to have a good time, and then the world just knocks you down on your knees. Whatever, just cast away, going at it alone. That's not the right angle. But in a sense, it is a right angle, because this whole game is rigid angles. Let's uh, do this a little bit better. There we go. Oh, jumpy little sucker, huh? Hungry fella? <laughs> Alright, don't break off of the line, please. Hold the line! Da 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 da! I always thought it was love isn't always... No, it is love isn't always on time. But I always thought it was something else. What did I think it was? I don't remember. Toto, man. What a good band. That song especially. Hold the line. Come on, fish. There we go. He's as big as Link. Eight pounds? Does that mean Link is eight pounds? No. You can't do that. Loud car going by. There you go, buddy. Weigh my fish. Another token. Well, one step closer to ten. Alright, so... Lake Hylia. I have a bottle of bugs. I don't have a magic bean. Why did I come to the lake? I didn't even get that other spider at the ranch. What am I doing? I got excited about the fast travel and completely forgot what I was doing. But I don't have magic beans, but we could at least get the spider that's in the thing. And then I guess take the owl? Although, no, I got bomb shoes. I could go around all the grottos in the Hyrule field. In the Hyrule field? Why did I add the article? That was unnecessary. I hope this works, because the last seed I did this outside of the Spirit Temple, and it made that noise, but the spider never jumped out. We got nine more of these to do, potentially. Jeez. Well, pow! How's it taste? Is that... No way, dude. Is that a wallet? Holy crap! Well, <laughs> there you go. There's the field one. Man, uh, despite the blue rupees in the beginning, things are kind of 
looking up. All right. I was going to take the owl, but let's go around to the grottos now. And then Gerudo Valley, because chicken to the waterfall, chicken to the crate. Chicken every night and chicken. I got nothing. I don't know what rhymes with crate. I had an energy drink or two or seven. It was only two. That's still way too much. Each one has two servings. Do you care about your heart? No. But I think that's why I'm a little bit hyper compared to usual. For better or for worse. I mean, most YouTube personalities are loud and boisterous anyway. I never want to be like that, but I'm kind of acting like it right now. Smack yourself across the face and learn to shut up. <laughs> what? Self-hate running true to form. Also, I don't have Deku nuts. A lot of you guys were telling me, don't waste bomb shoes on the scrubs, use nuts. But I never got nuts, so I guess we're doing this again. Mystery item? No way! Alright, um... And I have an ocarina, too. So, Darunia is a thing. And the dude in the woods, the Skull Kid. And there's a grotto right here. I have a lot of songs because of that fast travel thing now, too. What? This isn't happening. This is not for real. How many major items did I just find back to back? This is ridiculous. For all the blue rupees it was giving me to start, suddenly everything is going nuts. Don't stop me now. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Anybody watch that movie? Bohemian Rap Rhapsody? Who was the guy who played Fetter Freddie Mercury? Speak much? I remember I watched that movie and it was kind of weird. I liked it, but it was weird at the same time. And then I looked up reviews and everybody, all the big music guys were like, Oh, it's so factually wrong. So, uh, I suppose it is. Watch this be fire arrows, just back to back. A two minute seed. We're already past two minutes. That was a token. All right, Gerudo Valley, the two treasures via chicken. The best form of transportation. Um, I suppose we should do the waterfall first. Because that's my routine, and God forbid you throw a, uh, mess up the routine. Throw a wrench in it. If you gotta turn the light switch on five times, you do it five times. If you do it six, you gotta do it all over again. One, two, three, four, five. Don't mess up my jive. Oh, watch out for that double damage. The lens of truth. This is not for real. Although that's kind of a crap item anyway. Second treasure. I swear if this is another major item, I'm, I'm gonna keep playing. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm certainly not gonna exaggerate the moment like an idiot. Like an unboxing video, like unboxing a toy, and then it's a toy, and you're like, Oh my god! What did you expect? You told 20 rupees, that's what I like to see. Add some balance to the situation. Oh, uh, how do you play this? I was missing this song last time, man. I never found it. This is one of the most convenient warp songs, because it gets you to the central hub that is Gakariko. Uh, we could open this thing up. Whoops. <laughs> I'm getting used to the D-pad hotkey thing that they introduced. You could tell that I always put the ocarina on left C. Pulling out the stick. I tend to pull out my big stick in certain situations, and it's inappropriate. Wait a minute. I did this last time, too. I don't have magic, I don't have dense fire, and I don't have a slingshot. I can't do anything in here. Well, crud. Trying to be part of the royal family, and then you realize, oh wait, I'm trash. Speaking of, Dompe, you're a working class man. Let's talk about it, brother. How about we go digging? We dig, 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 dig the life away. And we find amazing money. Can I be part of the royal family now? No, that is still just a pittance of cash. Pennies. Mere pennies to my salary. You stuck up oaf. Why is he an oaf? I don't know. What is this? Crap. Although, you know what? That fall damage scared me when I was picked up the lens of truth just now. 
So I'm gonna refill my health and bottle a fairy. Cause like especially the Stalfos later on, if you get hit by a jump slash on those guys, that does a crazy amount of damage. And then double it too. It's craziness. Nighttime in Kakariga with four sticks. I think that's just enough to get all the ground-based spiders. I can't get the one on the ladder because I don't have the slingshot. Or the boomerang. Although I think that one requires the slingshot. Although, a bomb chew might be able to reach it. Piece of heart. You have now collected fair pieces. A token. That's six. We're getting close. We're getting close to the base. As Peppy would say. What do you got for me? Another blue rupee. Okay, we're going coming back to this now. Is this where the luck dies out? Could be. You never know. It's all gambling, really. One more stick. I gotta go back to the bazaar. OMC. How bazaar. Remember that song? These shops are only active as an adult. We gotta keep that in mind. Another blue rupee. Yep, we are coming back to this. Alright, let's give the dude his mask. And then... Up Death Mountain, I suppose. 16 bomb chews. Is it worth it to bomb the spider that's right here? Potentially not. You never know when you need a bomb chew or for how long. The bomb bag could be miles away. And by miles, I mean hours. I like this light blue of Navi. I forget what color I picked. Those are Deku Nuts. I need to get those, man. I never picked any up. That'll definitely save me on bomb chews when it comes to the Deku Scrubs. Although, you know what? 16 is kind of a lot. Whoa, look out, he's coming for you. I think we could afford to waste one right here. After all, this might be the bomb bag. Count it out. One, two, three, four. Mutant chain reaction. Living underground. That was the 2003 Ninja Turtles. Also, look at the map of this. Doesn't it look like a fist? It's just a thing I've always noticed. I don't know if that's intentional. Uh, I don't care about the Dongo's Cavern. It's open as an adult anyway, right? Regardless of if you open it as a kid. Not sure, but I think the answer is yes. Jump up, up, boom, boom. Uh, the Lost Woods. We could do all kinds of stuff. We could get Saria's song. That's how I say that name. Because I'm weird, I guess. It's Maria with an S once again. That's just how I grew up saying it, so... Kaboom! Uh, Goron City, what can we do? We could check out the shop. I have the bracelet. And we could get a stick. Yes. And we could go in the shop and come back out and get another stick. And then people will say, that's a lot of sticks you got there. And I'd be like, you want one too bad. I guess I'm going to do what I did last time and just take the damage. Although, how much damage times two does a bomb do? One heart. Okay. Keep that in mind. Eh. He's got the Goron Tunic and a Deku Shield. A token. Bomb choose. The Deku Shield is tempting, but there's a free one. There's multiple free ones in this game. I'll buy this. Why not? Because walking around with a full wallet in this game is a little bit unsettling. Because you tend to find a lot of rupees, and that just goes to waste. Unlike in real life, where walking around with an empty wallet is very unsettling. <laughs> I didn't have this last time. We never made him dance. Also, is there not a stick in this pot? There it is. We got to get a lot of those, man. All right. Let's make this dude dance like he's never danced before. I always like the little effects of the songs in this game. Oh, he doesn't dance? Well, that's a bunch of crap. A token. That's eight. All right. Let's light the pot. Although, why am I doing this? This is another thing that I omitted. 
because I hate this spinning pot, man. It takes so many tries for it to land on the happy face and give you the master reward. So as long as I use that tool correctly, this should just be nothing important in here. All right, finally up in this room. It took me, I fell down and I had to keep climbing up here. But we have enough bomb chew to go see with these two chests and get another spider. So that's three potential prizes. After that, um, lost woods, I suppose. Although I really got to get Deku nuts. Why didn't I get them on the top of Dodongo's cavern? Eh, well. 11 bomb shoes, that's... Alright, almost 10 tokens. No way, dude. The Bolero of Fire. I got to get, um, beans. We got to go to Zora's River before I run out of bomb shoes. Holy crap. That double damage, I'm telling you. There's the Deku shield, man. Good thing I didn't buy the other one. Alright. I like that warp transition, too. Some of this stuff is just good, and this is where I got Zelda's lullaby last time. I should probably stop saying that, in case people haven't seen that seed and want to. I was a little less hyper, I feel like, in that one than I am right now. Hopefully I'll calm down. There's a blue rupee. There we go. Running true to form. It's like you think you're on top of the world and then somebody comes and sets you back in your place. That's what these blue rupees are. Oh, this Ocarina Memory game is another one that I put on the no list. Because I don't have the patience for stupid nonsense like that. Did it do? Um. Deku Theater. I gotta go get the skull mask, too, in order to see what that is. That's five rupees. I could take it, but all I care about is this grotto. I'm really kicking myself for not getting the Deku Nuts now. I'm doing exactly what I did last time and wasting bomb chew on the scrubs. Although, wait a second. I just got a Deku shield, man. What am I thinking? We're good. Alright, what do you got for me? 40 rupees? For 50 rupees, I made a profit. And three. Actually, um, yeah. Does this guy sell Deku Nuts by any chance? Because I would really like to have some. Nah, seeds. I don't have the slingshot, so that does not mean a thing to me. Okay, so to the Sacred Forest Meadow to get whatever the song is. And I have enough bomb tree to kill all three wolfos. Can I do what I did last time? Well, first things first, get the rupee and open the grotto and kill the wolfos at the same time. Although he blocked it last time. And apparently this time I get the wolf, but don't open the hole. No oh, crap. Actually, hang on. Oh wait, I'm not an adult anyway, so it doesn't matter. I was testing the free scarecrow song thing. But I, I'm an, not an adult and I couldn't hook shot to him anyway. Ah! We gotta get through Death Alley here. Oh no! Double damage is not good! Stop it! Stop it! How did I not take damage on that second hit? I take so much damage running through here every time. Come on, buddy. Yeah, how's it taste? That's what happens. Oh, uh, do I get a fairy or do I just chance it? I can backpedal, it's good. Line it up and go. Actually, Saria gave me double defense last time. Stop saying that! That would be a crazy find, although it would negate the whole purpose of activating double damage. A piece of heart, okay. I will take it. Alright, so right over here, um, before I play the song for the Skull Kid, which I also have, this is the last Deku, Deku Scrub that could potentially give you a major item. Well, there's number 10, at least. That's something. Ah, man, I wish I had the skull mask, but at least we could play him the song. If I remember how to play the song. If I press the right button, dang it! I'm confusing the C-stick and the D-pad. I'm using a GameCube controller, and I'm just not used to the D-pad hotkey as much as I appreciate it immensely, especially when it comes to the iron boots. Hey, another heart. I will definitely take that. I'm curious, though, when is this double damage really going to pose a threat? 
Because, you know, there are, like, iron knuckles. I can't be as sloppy as I was last time with those, because they do a lot of damage normally. Multiply that by two. Where's the rupees, man? It's nighttime. Um, does this guy sell nuts? No, he does not. He did sell his shield, though. You know, while it's nighttime here, let's get the spider on the back of the know-it-all house. And another five rupees. 92. Okay, so... Man, 1992, I was four years old. Playing Mario Brothers. Super Mario World is primarily what I was playing the most back then. I can't wait to play that game again. I want to co-op it with one of my friends if... I can never get them to come visit or whatever, and if they're willing to do that. Because I feel like one-player Mario World just would not be fun to watch. But co-op playing with a long-time friend, that would be pretty cool, I think. That's one of my favorite Mario games of all time. Although it does control kind of weird, going back to it. Like, it is very unique in how it controls compared to most Mario games. Well, let's do the Deku Tree. Why not? I don't have the slingshot, but I have seven bomb shoes. So if I really need to clear the thing... Um, speed this up. Patience, man. Inside the Deku Tree, Deku. Oh yeah, also Navi barks like a dog. I figured that would be a little more subtle and ear-friendly than the hello that I used last time. The map chest. Oh, speaking of that, you notice I already have the map and compass. Okay. I'll take it. And I have a shield so I can do this. Beautiful. Um, yeah, that's a feature of the randomizer too. You could start with the map and compass, which effectively opens two more potential opportunities for a major treasure in every single dungeon. Which I feel like is way more interesting than everything I've done up to this point. Fast forward, I don't want to climb these vines for nine years. Although the animation is nice. <laughs> Another blue ruby, dude. Can't complain, though. I've found a lot of good stuff. Speaking of, the silver scale, dude. Um, yeah, this is crazy, dude. This There's a lot of good items in this early part of the game. I did not expect that, the way this has started out with so many blue rupees. Okay, now it would seem as though I'm stuck, but we can go to the compass room where there's a spider and two more chests. No, it's... Not what I wanted, Naki. I am gonna use some bomb shoes, just to be safe. A bit. Yeah, I got him. How's it taste, buddy? Oh, climbing again? Speed it up. Sorry, it's just a patience thing, man. Like I said in the beginning, it's kind of like a drug. You just want to get to the good stuff after so many times of doing the same thing. All right, three treasures in here. First of all, I have one stick. Let's not waste it. Put it away immediately. That's the thing. I can't actually get to Goma, though, because I don't have the slingshot. You do need it at some point in the dungeon. But we can get through the bulk of this, actually. Like, I can still fall down the major spider web in the central chamber. The bomb bag, dude! Yes! This is ridiculous, man. That's another major item. It's like every other chest or whatever that I find is something outstanding. All right. Um, well, there's that chest in the spider. Let's not get too excited. Also, I could probably get Deku Nuts off of that guy. Man. So nice to find the bomb bag, though. Don't have to waste a stick. Or bomb cheese? Okay, that's, uh... I don't care. Another token. Oh, yeah, and I gotta check that, too. 20 roops, baby. Yeah, you know what? You can kill these guys, at least, with bombs, right? It's the ones that drop sticks that you can't. Yes! There we go, Deku Nuts. Now we're in good standing. Link's closing his eyes in shame. That gave me five, too. All right. 
So, let's continue. There's two more spiders and a chest, and I think that'll be the limit. Uh, bomb again, I suppose. Eat it! Alright, let's not miss this jump. You gotta pull back a little bit. Every time. Oh, I gotta use bombs to kill these, too, because I'm out of sticks, basically. I don't want to waste that last one. Do 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 bomb. You're kidding me. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Last time, this was the Requiem of Spirit. What? This I have no words for this. This is ridiculous. How many major items have I found back to back? Like, this is nothing out of the ordinary that I wouldn't start every seed playing the same exact way. This is all the early game stuff, oops, that I check anyway. Maybe omitting some of those things is what's causing it. What is this? A token. Okay, back to normal. But no, I really didn't omit too much. It was just all of the ice cavern. That was like the bulk of what I omitted. And then just little ones and twos here, like the memory ocarina game, Andrew's chickens. But it's not like I omitted half of the game. So this is just crazy luck to find all this good stuff this early. Talk about a weird seed, man. 23 is number one. Still makes me question if somebody on the development team liked Michael Jordan. Also, why am I in here? This would drop... These would give me seeds. But I don't have the slingshot. I'm stuck. This is as far as we get. I don't have the slingshot, but what I do have is a very particular set of skills. Namely, a song. Um... Wait, why am I going to the graveyard? It is a nice warp, but what was I just thinking? It just escaped my head instantly. Just say yes! What could go wrong? Alright, here we are as an adult in Kakariko. Not straight from the tree, I realized that, um... Wait. No, I still can't do that yet. I have a bow, but I don't have fire or anything. So first time in Kakariko Village as an adult, that's the Song of Storms plus whatever's on the shelf of the Song of Storms place, the windmill hut. It's nighttime though, even though it looks like dawn. All right, what do we got in here? That. I already have. That's the Nocturne of Shadow, right? Or is it the Song of Storms? I don't know, but it could be something. We gotta check. First of all, let's play this lovely song. Also, that's the grind organ. That's another thing you could make your ocarina sound like. <laughs> but I chose Mally. Cause I don't really know why I did, but that's crap. There it is, finally, man. I had to leave and come back in, slow things down. I gotta check, just in case, because I know both Nocturne of Shadow and the Song of Storms are kind of purplish. Not you are a fool. You are kind of dumb, aren't you? Thinking it's a song that you don't have, but you already do. You are dumb, you are dumb. Whatever. I want to check the shops in this town, too. But it's nighttime. Probably, I'll just go up to Death Mountain and it'll instantly be daytime. What do you got for me? Last time you gave me a token. A piece of heart. Cockle doodle doo, that's what I was waiting for. Although, you know what? While we're here, let's get this spider. Because we can. But also, hang on. Pedestrians crossing. There she goes. Let's go. What do you got for me, buddy? A token. Come on, there's a hundred of these. All giving me what you're supposed to be. That's not the point of the randomization, son. Get with the program. There's those nuts that I never picked up. Let's do Dodongo's Cavern. Why not? We're an adult. It's the best time to do it. I got the bracelet. I don't even have to waste my own bombs. I'm my own grandpa. 
Or my bombs. Or, you know what, I... Eh. I'm more curious about the shops right now. Hang on. I hope it doesn't soft lock. This one doesn't, but the other one t tends to. What do you got? Is that the slingshot? It is. Wait, is it real? 15 rupees, too. Why is everything so cheap? It's real! This is ridiculous, dude. The rest is kind of meh. All right, please don't soft lock. I did save at least, but please don't do it. Yes. No way. No way. Is it real? I must. No right now, cuz I... <laughs> what happened, dude? All these blue rupees and then... I have almost everything I need to beat the game right now. Not really, but sort of. This is huge, man. The bow, the hook shot. The bow. The bow is ringing. There's an animal in trouble. Well, we got the, um, the hook shot. Let's go see what the guy on the roof has for us. And I could play the archery game if I really wanted to. The question is... Oh, wait, and you. She gives you something, too. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you, Andrew. Paying me for all I did for you in Majora's Mask, even though technically that hasn't happened yet. Although, yes, it has, because we're seven years in the future. And that was Kid Link that went. Doc Brown, do explain. What do you got for me, buddy? Eh, last time he had the boomerang. Stop saying that! Dodongo's Cavern, let's do it. I'm coming for you. Barking like a dog, Navi, but you're a fairy. Identity complex or something, I don't know. Also, I never went and fully got Scarecrow Song, but remember, I have free Scarecrow Song enabled as a quality of life, speed things up feature. So we could go get the two spiders that are on this kid's side over here. I refer to it as the kid's side because coming in as an adult, you never have to come in here. Unless you want the two spiders, which I do. Saying so many words so fast. Energy drinks. Hello, little baby Dodongos. Not as cute as a puppy, but you'll do. Come here, little fella. I don't want to waste one of my 12 bombs. Even though I could find them in this dungeon, so... Kapow! Is that gonna work? Run away! There it is. All right, spider number one, and then we'll come out here and use the scarecrow song and see what the other guy is. The bats. Get out of here. What's up? I like that black. What pow? You gotta be out of your gourd. That did not just happen. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what to say. This is just for all the seeds. That I've played it. Wait, does it not work? There it is. That's so beautiful, man. I can see myself getting addicted to this in the future. If this is another major item, I don't even know. Okay, Deku Nuts. I will take it. But yeah, for all the other seeds that I've played that I considered very lucky, this blows it out of the park. This is ridiculous. I don't know why everything good is wedged into this early game. I mean, oh, that's a thing I haven't said yet. The rainbow bridge requirements. There's four potential options for that. You could either do the vanilla game, which it just checks for the shadow and spirit medallion. You could have it so the bridge is always there, so you could check Ganon's castle early on. There we go. Seeds for a thing I don't have. Oh, no, I do have it. I just bought the slingshot. Jeez, how soon we forget. Ah, yes, this room. You guys have enlightened me on how to get the spider at the top of the stairs. You just gotta leave the dungeon and come back and go through it backwards as an adult. I did not know that, now I do, and it's all thanks to you. I should write greeting cards. Nah. I don't know. What was I saying, though? Oh, the Rainbow Bridge. The other two options, you could do all dungeons or all medallions. The standard for the randomizer is all medallions, which means it will not spawn until you get all the medallions. But this time I enabled all dungeons, so no matter what, I have to get 
all medallions, all spiritual stones before I could go fight Ganon. And I did that because it just makes sense to me. Especially when you consider token sanity. That any spider in the game, including the ones in the dungeons... Alright. I might need to kill them for a major item anyway. So even if I don't need the medallion or spiritual stone of a particular dungeon, I may need to go in that dungeon anyway. So why not just require going to all the dungeons? And also speaking of that, in regards to the trials, the six trials of Ganon's castle... Alright, that's a kind of a waste, but I'll take it. Max out the wallet. Max out the health. Let's do this. Um, I had completely elim eliminated Ganon's trials. They are disabled and Ganon's boss door is already unlocked. So as soon as I beat all the dungeons and can gain access via the Rainbow Bridge, I could just go straight to Ganon. And once again, that's just to kind of speed things up. So some of this takes a little bit of the fun out of it, like the fact that I have Furore's Wind and two songs to start. And the fact that Ganon's castle is not going to have anything major. Like, I could go to the trial doors if I really want to and see what's in those chests. But because I chose for the trials to not matter, I already know that it's just going to be junk. So it's, not, it's just a waste of time. And again, that's kind of just for brevity's sake. So that this is not another four and a half hour video, hopefully. Alright, this was the silver scale last time, I believe. 20 Deku Sticks! There we go! We got a surplus of swords for spider hunting and Jabu Jabu. But I don't have the boomerang yet, so... The boomerang could be anywhere, man. That's the thing. Despite all this great luck, there's still a chance that I'm gonna be stuck looking for one item. Alright, let's get this jump. Please don't screw it up! Dang it! There it is, okay. The bomb bag chest. What do we want this to be? I don't know. What am I missing? I'm missing some stuff. Oh! Okay, I'll take a shield. Why not? I'm not gonna equip it though because the pause screen takes some time. It just takes some time. Little shield, you're in my inventory, but I don't want to equip it right now because it takes some time. And I don't know. Jimmy Eat World, dude. Well, whatever. Let's see what this is, though. Deku Shield, what are you? I would like to know right now. Why am I so sing songy? All right, we're getting close to 20 already. This is good. Good, I see the satellite's core. You tell him, Peppy. Oh, speaking of Peppy hair, man, YouTube's algorithm has been weird in recommending random videos. Some of you may know exactly what I'm about to talk about, but there was a video of like a man comforting a dying, a dying rabbit. And I watched the whole thing. It was like 11 minutes long or something. It was kind of sad, but I don't know. Peppy hair just reminded me of that. I've been seeing a lot of weird recommended videos. I don't know what's up with YouTube. Every now and then it just goes off the handle and recommends things that just don't make sense. Like why they would show up on your personal feed based off of what you watch. But there's another spider in here. Might as well grab it. Get out of here. Wow, he did two hearts of damage. Oh, that could add up fast. These guys are always a pain in the neck, especially in this room. I always get hit by one every single time. Speaking of, I hear him. Get out of here! I'm almost dead! You're done, buddy. Drop some hearts. Oh, you're... You're just a... I don't even know. Well, there you go. The double damage is... Okay. This is getting exciting now. You gotta keep your guard up. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. 20 rupees? Eh, I'll take it just because I like to cherish it, so cherish it. That was a cool green, I think that's Ezlo. Alright, King Dodongo, I got a sword, I got bombs. And you know what that means. Insert Star Fox quote here. I'm coming for you. One last treasure. One last time for all the marbles. Or marvels. Oh, blue ruby. 
Blue moon. That adult link scream, man. King Dodongo is so cool. Too bad he's not harder. What ya? What a cool boss, really though. The early days of the N64, although I guess it was kind of in the mid-range of the N64, right? Aim for the open spot! That's it, Fox! We got him! Poor bugger. He's just a big Dodongo guy. He's no different than like a daddy doggy. You gotta be nice to animals. You can't be whacking them with the Master Sword. Whatever. What does he got? See, this is another thing. This is not gonna be like the map or the compass or something stupid. It could be something that I want. I know what you want. A Deku Shield, but I already had one. I'll take another, though. Also, what is this? Spiritual Stone or Medallion? I mean, I need all of them, so it doesn't matter. Cherish it, whatever it is. The Light Medallion, yeah! Alright, so, what next? Up to Goron City? There we go! Good thing I remember the bomb shoot trick, instead of waiting to time it appropriately with normal bombs. Tell me about the dragon and the Gorons there, little buddy. I would like to know, and I would also actually like the Goron tunic. Could you be vanilla? No, that's terrible. Well, the shop's open. He had the Goron tunic, didn't he? When we came in here as a kid, it's the same. After seven years, right? Why change what works? I don't even know what this guy sells in the normal game. I know he has the Goron tunic and I guess bombs. Just a plethora of the Goron special crap. Yes. The Deku shield, that's right. And the Goron tunic and rupees. I'm gonna get the tunic. Why not? I can afford it. And we've pretty much seen all the shops in the game except for Zoro's Domain. Ah, Zoro's River, dude. Why didn't I go there as a kid? I still never got magic beans and we're right here at the crater. Yeah, crud. Well, whoa, that's a mustard yellow if I've ever seen one. It kind of works with the red, though. I am the ketchup and mustard hero. Mustard is disgusting. I can't stand it. Blech. Money. There we go. We gotta build up the wallet again. But we've got the brace that we could pull this and we can see what the actual Bolero of Fire is, even though I already have it. And, uh... I don't have the hammer. Can't check the Great Fairy. Never planted a bean because I'm dumb and never went to Zora's River. We could dip in the Fire Temple. Piece of heart. Uh... Hold on. I can't see what the piece of heart up there normally is. And the draw distance doesn't show what's in... Alright, we're in the fire temple to my dismay. This is my least favorite temple in all of Ocarina of Time. Get out of here. Even though on my ranked video list, I put basically all the child dungeons at the bottom. But yeah, I, I, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I think in the last seat I explained or I whined enough about the fire temple. But whatever. We have the tunic at least. Let's see what we can do. This is dangerous though, with double damage especially. I gotta be careful. Thank you for the small key, we can progress. That is not always guaranteed, given that if you come in here with the hammer from somewhere, they could place that first small key that you need in that door right down here. Oh, I don't have the Song of Time yet though, so I can't check with the Sculptula here on the left. Yeah. Whatever. Despite that, we will check what we can anyway. Uh, it kind of hurts passing by that. I'm so used to just checking both of these in one go. That's once again why I don't do key sanity, really. Maybe one day I will, but I'm not looking forward to that day. To see you again, Fox McCloud. Andros! And now, to destroy the Lilac system! That's not how he sounds. I remember I was so excited for that Star Fox Adventures moment when it happened. Especially as Falco comes. Hey, McCloud. Same time. No, he's, he's different time, different planet. 
And you still need Falco's help. It's good to see you, buddy. Still remember it. That's how you could tell I thought it was so cool when I was little. Get out of here. Look at this bat. Yeah, you get it anyway. What's with me chucking bombs? We have a key. Don't you need a key to exit this room, though? Or, like, to proceed forward in the temple? Whoops, didn't mean to talk to you, but there you go. Enjoy freedom there, buddy. Come on, what are you? The magic meter! Holy crap! Well, there you go. I could use fire arrows and uh, Feroar's Wind now. Um, I really gotta consider Feroar's Wind for this temple because it drives me nuts. And there's gotta be some Feroar's Wind tricks for this place, even if you're doing it all out of order with a randomizer. Anyway, this is the way we sing our songs, sing our songs. I have no keys. Why the heck am I coming here? Because I cannot proceed. This happened last time. Why am I still going? Payment received. All right, let's get this and go to Zora's River finally. Nighttime. There's a spider. Oh, it's good to be here. It's good to see ya, buddy. That's gonna be in my head all day now. A token. What is that? 18? Okay, getting close to 20. Let's buy some beans. Although I have no money. I could get one bean. And I will take that bean and not plant it here. We will save it for the crater. And go back as an adult. Yes. Is that? There's no... There's no way that's real. That's the hook shot, right? Not the long shot? Although... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's amazing, though. I hate the hook shot of this game. It's only awesome when you find the long shot. This is ridiculous. So we could just go adult link crazy right now. Um, don't even care about the frogs. I think I disabled their ocarina prize. Not the, the Song of Storms prize, though. Because they give you two things. And last seed, I could have sworn I ran into some kind of problem there trying for the normal Ocarina game prize, unless I just forget Ocarina of Time and I don't know what they do. Never gonna speed you up. Actually, yes, I'm always gonna speed you up, because I have no patience. I don't know. I got nothing. What is with me singing crap like an idiot? Surely this can't be anything major. The Stone of Agony, in a sense, that is major. Now I can get hints if I need them, but I already have everything. I don't need crap. A token. Okay. I will take it. I actually like seeing not everything major. It's still broad daylight. I don't feel like waiting for the spider on the ladder. Maybe the next time around when I actually am ready for Jabu Jabu because I don't have the boomerang yet. So we will have to come up through here again at some point whenever I find that thing. So Zora's Domain, we could do the diving game. I have the scale from the Deku Tree, so I could go... Well, we know it's a heart piece in Lake Hylia. I could pick it up anyway. Double damage, you never know. It could be the thing that saves me at some point. Let's do that while I'm thinking of it. Uh, there's a hidden grotto there if I had the Song of Storms. This place is so peaceful every time. I want to live in Zora's Domain. I want to be a fish. Actually, I don't want to be a fish because most water, most bodies of water are all nasty anymore. This is real, right? I don't know why that just occurred to me now that pieces of heart could potentially be fake. Like that you are a fool thing that happens every now and then. I'm assuming it applies to everything, not just normal items. Uh, the fish in a bottle? I could. Well, no, I have a fairy in a bottle, and that's more important. With double damage active. The shop? I have no money. I can't even play the diving game. Crap. I should have stopped. Why didn't I climb the gate at the castle? Castle town, rather. Oh! King Zora has already moved. I forgot I enabled that this time, too. Normally, I don't. 
So Rudo's letter is not anywhere to be found. If you enable that option, it removes it completely from the item pool and you could just automatically go to Zora's Fountain as both a kid and an adult. Another just ease of use, speed it up thing, which is welcome. So I guess we'll check this. Should I even bother stopping into the shop? I can't buy a single thing, unless this happens to be like 200 rupees. Or even just 50 or something. Isn't that what I found last time? There I go, spoiling that previous seed again for everybody who may not have seen it. Whatever. Bombs, he ain't good. That's not what I wanted to see. Alright, we're in Zora's Fountain. There's nothing I can do here. But we could get the spider and check the fairy. Bombs again, okay. We're flatlining, but that's to be expected. I found so much good stuff already. I should have placed that bomb by the one that actually gets destroyed. Speed it up, don't care. I wish that they made it so you don't even have to play Zelda's Lullaby and you could just step on the thing. That's crap. Alright. Although I guess that's the whole point. You need it to even get these rewards. Okay, planting the bean back in the crater. This is not going to work here. 48 seconds. Good thing I bought that tunic because that is cutting it close for the fire temple. Um, <laughs> that Malin voice, dude. Oh, it's so terrible. Why did I set that? The harp was so much better. I don't know when... If I do another seed, I don't know what I'll pick for the ocarina. Because the other options were whistle, which is Impa's whistle. The flute, which is the skull kid, or the memory game, whatever. And then the grind organ, which is what the Song of Storms guy plays. Guru Guru, if that's his actual name in this Hyrule universe. Because Termina changed the names of everybody. Except for Anju. Ah, yes, that tunic. It's weird. I don't know what to think of it. No reward, huh? I have a medallion, though. Maybe the light medallion doesn't count for the chic reward. Maybe it actually has to be forest or something else. But we got a bean planted. Let's see what we got. What is this piece of heart? I, there's nothing here. Oh, wait. There was a bomb. It's a bomb. That's stupid. Uh... I have the long shot. Isn't there a spider over this way? Or is it just rupees? There's a whole thing over here that, like, you never do. I couldn't even tell you the last time I came over here. Okay, Pierre. That's so cool. I love that feature. Oh, wow, there's two. They have spawned at the same time? That normally happens, though, doesn't it? This is just money. No, there's a hidden grotto, isn't there? You need the Song of Storms. Can I? No, you cannot. All right, well, the bean sh is surely back. Let's go ride it all the way. Then we can see what's in there, and we can check the grotto and check the ferry at the top of the mountain. What else can we do? I don't have the hammer, so I can't check with the great fairy in here. Although I'm sure there's a way to glitch past those boulders. There's got to be. This is Ocarina of Time. <laughs> I just never even looked up or cared to learn. Until now. No, I'm not going to do anything. Also, is there a spider over here? I know there's a spider in this crater somewhere. Is it as a kid, the crate in the entrance? I think that might be it. This is just a gossip stone, is it not? Stop throwing the bomb! What is happening? Yeah, that's just a thing. I mean, I came all this way, and I have the stone. They say that the final prize of the Gerudo training ground is the Zora tunic? Piece of Zora. That's the Zora tunic, right? Well, that's good to know, maybe. The Gerudo training grounds. I have the long shot. I could go there. Well, let's not get too excited. Check what we're doing now. Systematically. Do some stuff. We're stuck in the fire temple until we find the hammer, which is good because that means we don't have to go in there for a long time, potentially. And I couldn't be happier about that because I cannot stand the fire temple. Are we Are we really complaining about it again? So dumb. 
bum, 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 bum. Checking the thing. Too bad the owl's not here as an adult because I know there's a spider on the back of the house that the owl dumps you off on. It's the thing that has come up more than once when I play this game. I always, it crosses my mind, but there's 20. All right. Uh, um. Okay, I jumped down the mountain, took some damage, and then I was like, why don't I just warp to Kakariko? So now I'm missing some hearts. Wait, I have magic now. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, and I have fire arrows from a long time ago. The Deku Tree. What a crazy find. All right, so we could knock out two things in here. I could have done. I had the bow for a while now. I could have come in here and gotten the one prize, but I'd prefer to get both. That was weird. I like, I don't know, like held in a burp at the same time that word came out. That was strange. I'm assuming this is less magic than Din's fire, which I don't have anyway. All right, this was the light arrows. Let's stop saying that. Jeez. No. But that reminds me, we are here. We got to stop in and see what that prize is. Sun Song, what are you? I don't even remember what it was. So, what is the next course of action? I mean, the Gerudo Training Grounds is a thing. Temples. Um, I don't have iron boots, so water temple's out of the question. Shadow temple, I don't have Din's fire. Can't even get into it. Spirit temple. I have the lens of truth. I could cross the wasteland. So stop and do the Gerudo training grounds and then cross the wasteland. This seems like a course of action. Ah, I do that every time. Although, hey, I have the long shot. I could check this magic bean crate. Get out of here. Nobody got time for your nonsense. Dompe, his freestanding heart piece for beating the race super fast. I remember I excluded from being anything major. Okay, just one stick. I'm going to take it on faith that maybe the hookshot chest down there is also useless. Although, I did not select that. Let's grab some stuff here. Why not? I need money. I gotta get more magic beans. Because that's the thing. Well, I don't even have the Requiem of Spirit yet. So I don't know how about... Go... Yeah. I don't know how about going out and planting that there bean in the desert. Let's get this, uh... We can't get the spider, but we could check the... Impa's house cow. Oh, you can hear him in here. A blue rupee, are we surprised? Actually, I will take it. I need money. 40, so that's like two more beans maybe so far. Uh, the spiders. Come on, buddy. Be a pal. Give me like a lot of money or something. That would be helpful. No, a token. <laughs> All right. So, oh, there's this as well. Let's see, I have the Forest Temple. I have the song for that so I could get past Mido and I have the bow. Boom, I love doing that every time. That freeze frame in midair. Actually, it's multiple frames because you're lingering there like the cranberries for quite some time. It is the cranberries, right? I mean, they're the zombie people. All right. More money, more beans. Let's see, let's see. Think, think, think. Why not? We're going to play this super quick. There it is. What do we get? What do we get? Crap! They got me. All right, we're doing it because the Forest Temple is an option and I could fully beat it, but I'm more curious about all this stuff over here. Plus, there's a lot of Skull Solos. It's a long shot over. A 
too bad it's not nighttime. There's at least two spiders here. One behind the tent, one on the pillar. I don't have the hammer for the third. Oh, that's a chest back there, isn't it? Not a spider. If only night would fall. We'll keep that in mind as well. So let's do Gerudo training ground. Once again, I have enabled... All we have to do is free one carpenter. And uh, that gives us the pass so we don't get thrown in jail. And we could go do the training grounds. Problem is, I don't have silver gauntlets. I don't have the hammer. Don't need it, though. I don't have iron boots, though. So that trick might be a little bit hard to pull off that I did last time. Don't have the Song of Time either, but I do have Hover Boots. <laughs> Crazily. Oh, once again. I'm just gonna... Tank it. Although these guards are so much fun to fight with the hookshot nut combo. That sounds weird. Into the corner, come on. There it is. <laughs> Look at her in the background. Just legs through the ceiling. Kinda weird. What's up, buddy? Go fix the bridge. Not that we need it. It's such a weird prize for this game to have. Hey, her tunic is working. This is not even a normal color. She's mustard yellow. That actually works well with her hair. I like your style. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. One, nothing's wrong with me. Two, something's wrong with me. Let's do it. Wasting rupees. I don't know. You can do the bulk of this. The Song of Time and the Silver Gauntlets are what's really holding me back. Otherwise, I can get a lot done in here. Oh, crap. Double damage, though. I have a fairy in a bottle, though, so we're okay. Nice. We're getting primed and ready for those magic beans. That's nice, too. All right, let's do it. We know the path. Start with the Stalfos. Put on the hover boots, because we don't want to sink, especially with double damage. These guys, this is the true test. These guys can be super deadly if you're not careful. Oh, okay. All right, we're good. Don't, don't even sneak up on me, buddy. I should pull out the Deku nuts. Ah, he got a slice in. Good thing it wasn't a jump slash, because that might have killed me. <laughs> All right. That's one down. A key. There we go. As expected. And we got the long shot, so we don't even have to worry about uh, the target in here. That always gives me trouble when I don't have the long shot. So let's just do this. No failures this time, like the last seed. That hand is coming. Uh, what am I doing? What side am I on? The thing is down here. Go, 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 go. Don't get hit. Uh, okay. I don't know how much damage the boulder would do. There it is. And then just seamlessly go this way, which means the thing is down here. Wait for the boulder. Shake off the hand and go. Let's see. Where else am I going to be at risk in here? There's another combat trial with the two Dynafuls, right? With the Beemos in the middle of the room. That's like one of the last rooms, though. Coming from this... Oh, over here, too. Well, these guys are no problem. Claw Claws Jump Slash every time. Come on, buddy. Don't waste my time. There it is. I really wish I had the Silver Gauntlets. Maybe... The chest that spawns from killing these guys will have it. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, no, don't do that. That's terrible. Two hearts, man. I could... you Please spawn some hearts. What's... Something's falling out of them. It's a Deku nut. Silver gauntlets, come on. No, but that helps. I will definitely take that. An extra heart and a full refill. I definitely needed it. Man, passing up four treasure chests right now because I don't have the silver gauntlets. That hurts. Ah, yes, this room. And I have the free Scarecrow song, so it doesn't even matter. We could just jump down here. I have the long shot this time. We could get right back up there. Let's not mess this up 
like I did last time either. Want to play a drinking game? Take a shot every time I say last time. It just occurred to me now how much I've said that. It's just because I'm doing this in quick succession after doing that one. Because, as I said in the beginning, it seems to be like all that is worth doing anymore. There were a few Let's Plays I did that fared relatively well, but everything has been tanking so bad anymore that it just kind of leaves me feeling defeated and I don't know what else to do other than a Zelda randomizer just to stay afloat. Does this not work from down here? Whatever. Not even worth wasting the time, although how much damage did that do? Oh yeah, two hearts. So it's always one normally. Okay, so far, aside from those four major chests, I haven't missed anything. Racking up the keys, that's what I like to see, and I don't know what my voice just did there. What is this? This is the fire room, is it? No, this is the hammer room. So this is where I could test the glitch. Although I don't have the iron boots. I don't know if that matters, though. These bats are scaring me with the double damage. Because if you don't have, if you're not ready, as soon as that music kicks in, you're taking the hit. Why am I using this? Hang on. Boom. Boom. Oh yeah, these guys always drop magic. I could go for some hearts, though. And then this guy, and that's a chest, and the way forward. That would be awesome if this is either silver gauntlets or the hammer. Because that would make, the hammer would make this room easier, but it's not necessary. Silver gauntlets, I could go back. Nope, just a key. Alright, let's try it. Just like last time, I could pause buffer it maybe, but... Well, well that's not how you do it. Yeah, there goes the fairy, although this might actually help me. I haven't been... I tried this so much. Tap A, tap A. And hold forward, because I'm far away. There it is. Okay, that did help. Epona song, dude. So that glitch actually paid off. That's awesome. Epona, what is that? Well, right outside of here, we could do the archery game. That's two prizes. Although it's been a long time since I've played that, so it might take a while to get that perfect score prize. Hover boots are going to be my friend here because I don't have the Song of Time. And that actually sucks because I don't know of another way up there to that ledge. So I can't get that key up there. Alright, we gotta be fast. And I can't get the two chests on the right side unless I open those doors, but they're irrelevant. I would prefer not to. There it is. Okay, now we gotta hurry back before the fire comes. No, that's the opposite Z target. Go! There it is. I don't have iron boots or the song of time, so I can't do the trial right there either. Crap! Why did I come in here? Well, I got Epona's song though, so... Uh-oh. Okay. No. Don't me don't mess up. You can't- That Beemos hit me, dude. Stop it. Whoa, he hit me, and I hit him. Okay, I'm scared now. <laughs> I don't have a fairy anymore. Get rid of the Beemos. No, don't hit that. Uh, don't do that. I might have to get on the ledge and get some hearts. Why did I go for the glitch? Hang on, wait. I have a shield. What am I doing? Why didn't I equip this? Go for the hearts. Wait. No, come on. Do what you gotta do. Don't hit the things. Alright, can I take these guys out from a distance by any chance? Oh crap, he's right there! No, don't hit my toe! Stop. I died! I got a game over in Ocarina of Time! No! <laughs> Oh, the double damage, man. Oh, I feel so ashamed and terrible. Oh, wow, did you see? And they scurry so fast. That was crazy. 
All right, I only have three hearts, man. Focus, use the shield. You should have used the shield. You would have been fine. You wouldn't have gotten the game over, but you're a dope. Come on, one at a time. Get in this little alcove. Oh, yeah, that's what, that's right. That's that shield business. Yeah, there it is. See, oh, thank you for the hearts. I would not have died if I just equipped the shield. Paying the price for impatience? Yeah. And you're done. You're nothing. Well, is that going to work? Yes, it did. Sometimes it just stuns them. What a shameful game over, dude. All because I was too impatient to pause the game and scroll to the shield. It would have saved me. That's what it's there for. I also would have been fine, probably, if I was able to pull off that glitch without needing the fairy. It's alright, though. It doesn't matter. This is for fun. It's not like it matters at all. To the ceiling. I don't... This was something awesome last time. Take a shot. I said it again. Hey! <laughs> alright. Could have used it earlier, but... If I could just keep finding keys, we could see what the big thing is. And we know it's the Zora tunic, right? Because that gossip stone said a piece of the Zora is at the end of all things here. Well, it didn't say the end. It said just in here. Come on, key. Nuts. Well, we could get to the other chest right here, but then we're stuck. We need two more keys. Crap. I wish I had the Song of Time or the Silver Gauntlets. Or the Song of Storms! Holy crap! Okay, that opens up the bottom of the well. Uh, grottos everywhere. The frogs. I'm only missing, like, the Minuet of Forest, Requiem of Spirit, Sun Song, and... Song of Time. I have so much stuff, dude. This is ridiculous. What a seed this is. I don't even know. All right, we got Epona. Let's do it. All thanks to that glitch. Otherwise, I would have needed to go get the hammer in order to get that chest. So the game over was worth it. Let's do it, man. It's been so long. I don't even remember. What is the score that you need? What the heck is going on here? I used to be so good at this, too, because the N64 is so rigid, you could just hold steady and smash and get the 100s back to back. Like that, except... No, I'm already... Whoa, I'm doing terrible already. I feel like Epona, slow down! <laughs> I'm getting old, I can't go this fast anymore. It does feel like it's going faster. Maybe it's just I don't even know what I'm talking about because I haven't played this in forever. Okay. Oh, this is a terrible go of it. It's 1500 you need, right? That was terrible. Is that even any prize? Din's fire! Okay. Oh, um, Shadow Temple, dude. I don't even care about the other prize. I hope I don't regret that, but I don't care right now. Uh, before the Shadow Temple, it just occurred to me, let's get these spiders. Okay, that's just a token. There's one more, right where I parked Eponer. And then we could go back to the fortress and get the spider that's in there, get the chest on the top of the fortress, and then cross through the wasteland and get the fairy at the thing. Yes! All of these things are more important than the Shadow Temple. A blue bean. At the moment, anyway. Alright, here's the spider in the fortress. Eh. I haven't even used the slingshot yet. There's really no point in becoming a kid. Well, except for the beans. But until I get the boomerang, there's really little purpose. 
I have the long shot. I don't even think I need the Scarecrow song for this. You can reach the chest with that. So grab this, cross the wasteland, because I have the Lens of Truth. And I just got Din's Fire. I have fire arrows anyway, so there's a chest on the way there. And then check in with the fairy. And get the song from Sheik at the Spirit Temple. Alright, here we are. Man, I've been watching a lot of hurricane videos and tornado videos, because I love that kind of stuff, man. It just fascinates me. I know it's like a tragic thing, and a lot of people lose so much stuff. But storms are mesmerizing. And I just can't help but think how much it would hurt to be standing where Link's standing right now. I can barely see these things. Where's the next one? I don't remember. Gotta use the trick. Song of Storms. Use the lightning strikes to spot the next flag. Uh, oh, there it is. I see it now. Ah, yes, okay. So to the left, and then we're there. Go straight. That is so cool that that actually works as like a little trick tip. Oh, yeah, there's a spider down here, too. Yeah, I mean, it's bean money. And you gotta get that bean money. This chest is normally 50 rupees in the standard game. A oh, piece of heart. I will take it because I got a game over like a moron. Isn't there magic down here as well? Alright, let's go activate Grunty. Speed this up. I always liked this little thing. I don't know, in real life I've always wanted like a little private hut of some kind. Oh yeah, doesn't this Poe say some little rhyme like Gruntilda? Yeah, she does. Alright. That would be weird if the Requiem of Spirit is in the desert. Well, no, that's, not, that's what the normal game does. This is where you learn it, from Sheik. But at least that's two treasures, and whenever we find that song, I could come back here and plant a bean for two more treasures. But yeah, those hurricane winds, they're crazy, man. It's just, like I said, it's mesmerizing. That's the best word for it. Just seeing blankets of water just blowing across the streets. As a video and just the, the visuals and the sound of it, it's perfect to sleep to. But I know I've never been in a hurricane or a tornado. So I'm sure it's a sound and sight of huge trauma for people who have. I don't know. Speeding it up again. Waving at the Pope there, boss. Wave at the Pope there, buddy. Whatever he says. Ah, crap. Alright, well, there's the song. Can I pull off the Z target before the little guys come out? It's always thing. I always want to backpedal here, but nope. See, they're already... Ah, he got me! I got... Hold on, double damage. That did two hearts. I thought I had more hearts than this. I took a hit and it did nothing. Did you see that? Why does it do that every now and then? Also, what I didn't see what that was. Spirit Temple, don't have the gauntlets. Can't even do anything in here yet. Unless... Sheik gives me the silver gauntlets. We shall see. Otherwise, the Shadow Temple now. This is like the last thing to check in the near vicinity. The Song of Time! Oh, oh, I could go back and do the Gerudo thing. I could get the spider in the Fire Temple, but I hate that place. No. Okay. Save. Shadow Temple. We know we could do that in full. So let's just focus on that right now. This seed is ridiculous. I can't believe the amount of things that I've found. How does it feel to time travel, like, in two seconds? Because this is a different day for me.
I took a break and I slept for many a day. And now here we are where we left off, about to do the Shadow Temple and a million other dungeons after this because we're pretty much ready to go. We've got a lot of things. So let's do it. The Shadow Temple, which used to be my favorite temple as a kid, but then I realized how much better Spirit and Forest are compared to it. But this one is behind those, I think. Out of Ocarina dungeons, anyway. Got Farore's Wind ready to go. I think I was supposed to cast it already. I think that's how you appropriately... That's not how you say that word. Appropriately use... Ah, whatever. Why do I even have Farore's Wind equipped? I can't think of any instance in this dungeon where it would really save a ton of time. I gotta get better at though. I want to start using Farore's Wind a lot more. But yep, this is a different day. Uh, I needed my bow, and I need to figure out about this Farore's Wind stuff. We'll put it there. There we go. Hookshot is always on down C. Don't do anything different. That's weird. <laughs> Tell me any- Oh, they're not invisible? I thought I needed the lens of truth to see these clowns. But yeah, hopefully this is not a 180 in mood since it's a different day. I was really hyper that last recording session. Singing Little Richard like a moron. That's going to be like an instant dislike click off the video moment. I'm almost tempted to mute it when I go to edit it. The boss key! Too bad this is not like the fire temple or the water temple where you could just be like, nope, and go fight the boss and be done. The shadow temple and the forest temple are unique in that sense. And I guess spirit a little bit too, where you actually have to go from the start point to the end point where the boss door is. You have no other way. No other choice, rather. Ah, yes, this nightmarish thing. Get out of here! What a creepy thing. What? This is a dead hand, right? I always get the name dead hand confused with the things that fall from the ceiling. God, that mouth, man. What is it with the elongated mouths that is just instant horror? It's like, I remember being scared of the movie, the Mel Gibson movie Signs, you know, with the crop circles. Because the aliens were really tall, like all of their legs and their necks, like, I don't know. Just limbs that are abnormally long or creepy. And I think it's just the unusualness of it. It's not unusual to have super long arms. Uh, why, are, why are we singing all these things already? A Deku Nut. Walnuts are good, dude. You ever have a bag of mixed nuts and inside you find a walnut and your day is just instantly better because they're delicious. There needs to be more walnuts. I mean, they're right at the grocery store. I just never buy them because the problem with nuts is they make you thirsty. That is a sentence that could be easily misconstrued. Let us pretend that was not said. We found the true skull. I don't know, man. It's craziness. But I just got back from a lakeside restaurant with my mom. I figured I'd be nice finally and go spend time with my mother who's been like desperate for any kind of attention at all. And uh, it was all right, I suppose. The place was really crowded. Normally that sends my anxiety whirling and it did because I immediately grabbed for my sh shirt, pinched it really hard and started rubbing the fabric back and forth together, because that's what I do when I'm nervous in public. It's weird. I have so many holes in the arms of my shirt, the sleeves, from, like, very tensely gripping it and rubbing it together out of anxiety. And I just, I can't stand sometimes being in public. It just, I don't know what it is. I get it. It runs in my family. I just depression and anxiety run in my family. I just know from looking at my grandmother, because she used to, when she was well and able, and the, the Alzheimer's wasn't, like, super bad, to the point that she doesn't even open her eyes now, but, uh, at restaurants, she used to take the little, you know, most restaurants give you a straw and a paper wrapper, she would take the straw wrapper, and just the entire time we were sitting there, she would just crumple it in her fingers, like fidgeting her fingers nonstop until she had like this super strong ball of straw paper that like you couldn't possibly pry it back to its original form because she was just, like I do that kind of stuff. I've done it with straw wrappers, napkins, but my shirt is usually the go-to. Or if I'm really aware of it and trying to conceal it, I'll put my hand in my pocket and do it to like the pocket uh, fabric. It's a weird thing. I don't know what you call it. So that happened 
just now when I was eating at this lakeside restaurant because it was just surrounded by people. And plus my vision thing that I mentioned in the last seed. Oh, I forget how to fight these guys. I, I never used the hookshot technique, but... Safety first, lads, as Pierce Brosnan would say back in the day. A key, hey, good thing. It didn't even occur to me until I saw it that we need those. There actually is an option in this, it's called Keezy. You just remove all the keys, so you can just do whatever you want in any dungeon. It's like the easy mode, as a, the, the complete opposite of Key Sanity, where everything is scattered wherever. Alright, I'm gonna use the bow. It's faster. Sometimes it works a little bit better than the hook shot. I don't know. If you got the ammo, why not? That crud. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling a little... The complete opposite of the hyper me that was just talking probably a couple hours ago to you if you're watching this. Yeah, crud. I don't know, you know how, like, I hate to go a complete 180. I don't want to be as serious as I was in the last seed, because sometimes that's a bit much. But, uh, I just really can't help but reiterate that there's just so many moments in life that are so lonely. They're just filled with this negative air that just, like, cuts through you like a knife. And I, that happened. I ate... I ate dinner with my mom at this place, and it was nice, there were boats, and we were enjoying outside. But our conversation was, like, very estranged. And, uh... Did I pronounce that correctly? I feel like I didn't. And I don't know, it's just like... It leaves you with, like, a sour taste in your mouth. What I kept calling emptiness in the other seed that I played. Invisible chest, what are you? A key, alright. Spider, you could be something. Alright, well, I'll take it. I needed it. Still got that double damage going on. The boomerang! Oh, nice! Okay, we could fully complete the child stuff now because of that. Jabu Jabu, we got sticks, right? I believe... I, I just recently found, like, 20 sticks, right? I forget where I found that, but I know I got it. Good thing we got the hover boots. Don't have iron boots, though, so that fan section coming up is gonna be a little interesting. You don't need them, though. You just gotta... ...run against the wind. But yeah, then, after we ate at this restaurant... I don't know, my mom had a few drinks, as she always does, and that gets weird fast. Like, she's where I get my depression from. Like, holy cow, man, you ever think I'm bad? should see my mom when it really hits high with her. We both have the same habit of just, we could sleep days on end and just be dead to the world. And that's kind of how she's been recently, which is why I've felt very guilty and like, I gotta go spend time with my mom before, I don't know. But it's like, it's annoying because it's like, no matter how much time you do spend with her, she'll still say, oh, nobody comes to visit me, you know? Everything is just not good. And like, I don't know what to say. There's nothing you could possibly do. She's like searching for a utopia that can never exist in this world. And forcing a love that doesn't exactly exist anymore. Or maybe never did. There's too many broken, traumatic memories. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know how you repair things. But it doesn't change the fact that you still care deeply for the person. Like, if anything ever happened, that would be horrible. But it's just, in the moment, it's just very... It's, it's so hard to even make eye contact. Like, half the time I'm staring at the floor and I'm thinking to myself, Dude, just look her in the eyes. It's your mom. What's wrong with you? And I just can't do it. My head is like 200 pounds. This thing right here, I, in the past couple seeds that I played, not the last one, but the two before that, I didn't even have the Lens of Truth, truth for this. It's pretty easy to time. 
I think your odds of landing on that platform are pretty good. Just because of the sheer girth of it. Um, why not? It's been a while. I don't remember the exact location of these things without the lens of truth. I used to. And I'm going to continue to employ this hookshot strategy on the re-deads because... I don't know. I never used to. But I'm just feeling like it's a good idea. This one's walking. I can hear him. So yeah, we ate dinner, and um, we just had some rough conversation, and I got stressed out pretty easily because we were talking about basically the general future, various wordings of essentially, what the heck are you doing with your life? And that gets very stressful very fast, no matter who you are, I feel like. Can I do it? Get the double chime. He still got me though. There it is. It wasn't uh, synchronized like I did in the Devil Seed, I think it was, and the one before that even. But it was still relatively quick succession. An arrow. I'll take it. Arrow ammunition is good. Or bow ammunition, which is arrows. I don't know. But yeah, then afterward, we went back to her house, and, like, the problem right now is my mom, impulse decision, moved to where I am. A state that we all hate, but we're just kind of here by accident due to life circumstances. This is the fan room, by the way, just side hop. Wait. What am I thinking? Oh, that's right, you run against the wind. Didn't I just say that? Bob Seeger, man. Alright, get ready. Run, run, Rudolph. Or Link. But yeah, this house that my mom purchased, she like impulse got it because it seemed nice at first, and then we found out later that it was like filthy. The people did not take good care of it, so it's been a huge chore getting it to be any kind of. Like, it was like, so dirty to the point that no matter what you did, just like being there made you feel like you needed a shower. And for some reason, when we were shown the house, we didn't get that impression. I don't know how we missed that. So it's been taking a very long time for it to feel anything at all like home. And it still doesn't. Crap. Oh, we're good. It'll run out eventually. So I feel bad for her, but, like, at the same time, it's kind of her fault, you know? Like, nobody told you to quit your job and come move here. Like, we could have told you our relationship is a little bit frayed, and it's not gonna just be magic happiness like the Brady Bunch. Just because you want it to be. Like, we could all make effort, sure, but... It doesn't just happen overnight. Nice, another heart. And it's like, so she's, she's unemployed right now, desperately searching for a job. She's probably going to be making less money than I make at my job, which is ridiculous. And she's like reaching this age where pretty soon, pretty soon it's going to, she can't, she keeps thinking she's going to juggle three jobs. And there's no way. When you're like 20 and you're just trying to get as much money as possible. Sure, you can work two jobs, maybe three jobs if you're crazy. But when you're 60 or older, I don't know. Especially when it's all the typical grunt labor junk that anybody could work. Like at a grocery store or something. I don't know. It just puts me in a weird position because I never know what to do for my mom. And she's my mom, so I was like, eh. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Another Scarecrow song thing. Come on, what are you doing? Jeez. There it is. Oh, we gotta fight two Stalfos, man. It's crazy. Alright. We'll figure it out. I could use the Deku Nuts, although the boat might make the momentum a little weird. Oh, 
But yeah, the image, the whole point in bringing up all this mom drama is, uh, the lonely, empty image that's burned in my retina right now and seeping into my brain to forever haunt me while I sleep. It's just my mom was sitting in, like, this empty pool. There was nobody at the pool. It was about to close in her little development. And she was just sitting there with her feet in the pool, just silently, and I couldn't think of anything to say. So it's just, like, this awkward, silent moment with, like, my mom in this random state that we all hate that's just in, like, this random community that's not home to her. It's just a place that she landed because of an impulse decision. And, like, no words are being spoken. It's just, it's just crazy to think about. Like, once we were a family and we were home, and then everybody left. And now we're just, like, pick a random corner of this stupid globe. And there she is just sitting. Like, desperately alone, basically. And it's, it's weird. I don't know. I hate those moments. I hate those feelings. And they're everywhere. Every day anymore. So yeah, these are the things that happen sometimes. <laughs> Luckily, I was landing right on that thing's horn. The ship is sinking. What ship isn't sinking these days, pray tell? Might speed this up. This room is a little bit excessive. Gotta get Din's fire ready for this first room. It's funny, though, like, people could look at that like, oh, it's just a woman enjoying dipping her feet in the pool, you know? Like, that's a happy thing. But me, immediately, it's like the loneliest, most horrible thing. Uh, because I know my mom, too. Like, it's not just a happy, pleasant thing. Like, she'll dip her feet in the pool and be like, oh, this is nice, yeah, this is nice. But you can see, you can feel the insides crying out. And it's like... How do you answer that? And like me of all people, the depressed king should know how to handle these situations, and I don't. Like I can definitely reaffirm to you that it it all sucks, but I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> it's crazy. Have I found anything good recently? This room was a waste. I forgot the spinning pot room is stupid. There's another piece of art. We're getting a lot of these. Last room of this little chamber. I don't want to equip the lens of truth because the pause screen is a thing. Get out of here! Come on, Navi, do your thing. Uh oh. A lot of time has passed. Oh, he was getting ready. Last chest before the boss. Bongo, bongo. I used to be so good at fighting bongo, bongo. And I've had trouble in like any time I've replayed this game recently. I don't know what my deal is. Let's try to get it back. Let's go! Shadow Temple is near complete. All that's left is the boss. That's right. Straight, and then... No, yeah, you just bolt to this thing. Look at me using the lens of truth like a noob. Does anybody say that word anymore? Keep the hover boots on, remember that, because it helps when you're using your arrows. And he pops you up on his drum. I don't have the big Goron sword. That's how you really quick kill this guy. Although there is like a little sweet pocket thing you could get. Alright, alright. Don't miss it. Okay. Get ready. Does the sword works, right? Time it. Okay. Go! Nice, dude! That was like the best bongo bongo ever. I didn't even, I don't know, that was the sweet pocket I was talking about. I don't know how I got that. Bongo bongo, he's always been a joke. When has this guy been tough? Although, didn't I just say, oh yeah, the last couple times I had a little bit of trouble. Well, that felt good. Now I gotta get another quick Morpha kill, and then we'll be good to go. As if doing well in Ocarina of Time is gonna fix all your other problems. You dope. Get it together, it's a video game. How about step outside? <laughs> I'll step outside, get my future self to battle my past self, and every other self 
punching yourself in the face. How's it taste? And then he'll say, I don't know, let me see. I don't know. Jousting with myself. Hey there, baby. Creepy crawly in the wild. Give me one last prize before I return to being a child. Yeah, crud. Just what I need to see. Star Wolf. Let's take care of these guys first. Okay, we are a kid with the boomerang. Let's clean up some spiders. First stop is the ranch. Also, did I ever check the tree outside of the ranch? Isn't there one in there? Um, but the primary goal is to go to Zora's River, buy two more magic beans, and then go wreck Jabu Jabu and get any spiders along the way. That's our goal. Also... Wait, did I ever get the song from Malin? And I guess it has to be nighttime for that spider, if there is one. I don't remember. Anyway, always gonna speed things up, never gonna waste my time, running for the redhead babe, cause she sings well. Unlike me. What's up, baby? Sing me a song. Can't wait till you're a little bit older and we can do some things in the hay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, man. Uh, what? Dude. Okay, that's dude. Ah, magic beans. Let's go do it. All right, this game, we, we got this now. I don't even know what we're missing. The Minuet of Forest, I think? Okay, nighttime. Is there a spider in the tree now? Well, pow! Yeah, crud. He wasn't there. Okay, let's clean up the ranch spiders. The one that I neglected because I got excited about fast travel that's in the crate or the tree. And then the window guy. So the window is like right over here, right? Um, huh? Right, is it over here? There he is. Well, man, I haven't played this game in like over 15 years in terms of getting all the spiders. Well, that's crap. I can't hold that. Shining bright like a diamond. Hey, he was in the tree. What is my prize there, sir? Bomb shoes. I'll take them. Ekrod. He got me once again. Yeah, I tried once. I don't care anymore. Okay, I think the ranch is good now. I swear there's a spider in a tree. Is it by Kakariko? There's two trees by Kakariko. I can't remember if it's the far one or the one by the stairs. Let's go check that and then go to Zora's River. There's also a spider in Kakariko that I never got, the one on the ladder. I could have gotten it if I just let a bomb chew loose, but I forgot. I got distracted and never went back. There's one in Zora's River as well, because I didn't want to wait for nighttime the last time I passed through there as a kid. So I should probably grab that this time before doing Jabu Jabu. Really? It's not in that tree? I could have sworn it was that one. Maybe it is the one by the stairs. I thought I checked this already, though. Come on, nighttime, stay with me. What? I swear there's a spider here. I'm not losing my mind. Uh, wait, it's a grotto, isn't it? Hang on. Is it, it's bombs. You use bombs, don't you? Or is it a Song of Storms thing? I think it's, yeah, there's definitely something with this tree. Like flashbacks to early childhood here. Actually, it was mid-range childhood. There it is. Oh, there's a giant style child, too. Is this where the spider is? I thought it was in the tree. It is, dude. Okay. Uh, hang on. There it is. And it's protected by the daddy spider. Let's be nice and just numb in the pain. There you go. Okay, so grab this guy, then Zor's River. Let's do it. What do you got, buddy? The iron boots, dude! Yeah! Oh, I want those. Give me, give me, give me. All right. Wow. Out of my way, dude. It's time to go wreck this game. We got like everything we need now. Let's do it. Zora's River. All right, two magic beans from this dude. One for right here. And one for the desert, which we just got that song. Like a crazy, I don't even know. And then we gotta get the spider at the ladder. On my way to the ladder, I just realized I have the Song of Storms. I didn't have this, uh, the last seed for the frogs. 
Look at him so happy. What do you got? What do you got? A token? Eh, I'll take it. Here he is. What did I pass up on my first go here? You gotta be out of your gourd. Silver gauntlets? Ah! Okay, so the rest of the Gerudo training ground, the Spirit Temple. Oh man, this game has just been broken. We're done. Let's just. This is a dungeon rush now. Let's go, go, go! So we'll do Jabu Jabu, clean that mess up. Also, wait, I have rupees now. I never did the diving game, I never even checked the shop here. Okay, so we'll do those first, then Jabu Jabu. Which I'm probably gonna edit down, because that's like an empty dungeon. I'm gonna edit it even more ex extensively than the last episode seed thing. How much does this cost? I mean, I'll profit! Sure. What a lovely shop. A fish doesn't need money. Okay. Um, we need the fish in a bottle, though. Ah, I only had one bottle this whole time. So I did just lose the fairy in the, the training grounds. Alright, die for the rupees. Let's think, what am I missing exactly? Because I think I pretty much have everything. I don't even need the golden gauntlets because Ganon's trials are deactivated. Yeah, like I really don't at all. Well, unless I don't have the hammer yet. The hammer could be by the great fairy in Ganon's castle. In which case I would need the golden gauntlets. Very unlikely that it's in any of the trial rooms though. And then the Minuet of Forest, and that's like really all I could think of that I don't have. And the Minuet doesn't even matter. A piece of heart. Another heart. I will take it. Got that double damage. We're getting ready for those iron knuckles. Alright, Jabu Jabu. Once again, I'm just going to edit this down extensively. Commentate sparingly. And just, let's get in, get done, get out. Because what could possibly be here besides spiders and a few chests? Alright, this is our first spider over here. Get up on the ledge, Rudo. Uh, this guy was something really good last time. Yeah, it's a bomb bag. I mean, I'll take it. Out of my way, dude. Oh, whoops. I don't think I've ever used a boomerang on these things before. Too bad I don't have a sword. I'm gonna waste all this time with the slingshot. That room's coming up, too. Gimme. Alright, that's the first bomb bag. Well, second, technically. Boom. Okay, this is a chest, right? This is the map, normally. I think. It's something. Is there the boomerang? I don't remember what it is normally. Well, alright, that's a thing. Alright, Rudo, come with me, my dear. Come on, Eileen. Oh. I forget the words. Nice song. I really do like that song, though. Such a happy song. Like, when it comes on in the grocery store, I instantly just stay in the grocery store and I enjoy myself. <laughs> Sounds weird. What do you do, dance in the aisles? No. Always makes me think of Tommy Boy, too. All the scenes of them singing in the car. Singing in the car. Oh, what a feeling. Alright, this is the map. Or the compass or something. Yeah, okay. The bubbles are down. I repeat, the bubbles are down. Okay. All the things are down. Let's go. Rudo, two more. Spiders. Down you go, and what are you guys? Gonna keep the suspense going. It's a token and a Deku shield, okay. <laughs> That'd be cool if you could stack Deku shields. Oh no, he's coming for you! Uh, get, no, the Z-target didn't do what I wanted it to do. What the heck? Nice whiff, Link. Just toss the boomerang behind you, why don't you? Who cares what it hits? I would play that game, a Zelda game where Link is an old grandpa with, like, terrible accuracy. That could make for some comedic situations. Don't I already have that again? This happened last time. Or did I not get that yet? I don't even know. I'm 
confusing all the images of this game over the years. I always liked that shot. I don't know why. Kia and octopus. Hopefully I can get his butt to show on the first attempt here. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Count it out. One, two, three, four. Mutant chain reaction. Got it. Okay. You're done. Well, pow! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Final room. Let's do it. Nobody else cares about the rest of this dungeon. It's one of the weaker ones in N64 Zelda. Nice aesthetics. Kinda eh. Everything else. Give me the things. And up and up the stairs we go. Where they end, nobody knows. See, suddenly I'm being all hyper, but it's a it's a facade, man. Don't believe it. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like every now and then I like sit back and think of how I think I need to act for commentary. Rather than being all depressed and crap. You don't know, man. Baronet, I like this boss, though. This is the highlight of Jabu Jabu every time. Jabu Jabu. Sounds like something Egad would say from Luigi's Mansion. Whoa, alright, Z-Target. Let's not clunk things up again. Also, keep in mind that double damage. That could actually be a problem. It just occurred to me all of a sudden. Looking at my heart situation. I don't know how much damage the electricity does. Electricity, electricity. Schoolhouse rock, man. That takes me back to like third grade. Whoa, he's spinning. I'm purposely trying to take out the jellyfish this time so I don't waste sticks, even though I have plenty to take care of business. I don't know why. Okay, I guess... Oh, there was one left, wasn't there? Okay. Be mindful of the hearts. Don't get shocked. There are a few recovery hearts. I might need this pot, actually. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry! There's nothing there? Okay, well, whatever. Let's just stay focused. No! The best defense is a good offense. Come on, Link. Link, time it. As in me. See, Link would do it perfectly every time, but... Add a human variable there, and everything goes way of the pear, shape of the pear, whatever the phrase is. I'm almost dead and I don't have a fairy. I should have bottled that one in the room by the octopus. We're not going to have another game over. Get to the pot. Get it, get it. Keep moving. Oh, boy. <laughs> Stop it. I'm scared. Oh, you can't whiff those things, Link. There it is. One more to go. Don't get hit. Run for safety. No! I actually didn't do too bad. Stop it. Oh, <laughs> gosh. That young Link scream, dude. I'm sorry, Link. Okay. There was nothing to be worried about after all. Should have just got on with it from the start instead of running for cover. That's like a standard in video games. The faster you play, the better you do, typically. Another bomb bag in the same place? That's weird. This is a very strange seed. Lucky, though. Very lucky. All right, so that's another dungeon down. I don't I don't even know. I don't I never read the pedestal because I have to do all the dungeons anyway. So it doesn't even matter what these are. There's the Zora Saf. Okay, that's what it was. Kakiri Force, let's do it, man. We got to finish the Deku Tree because I never beat Goma. It just occurred to me I never had the slingshot. Now I do. We got to go back in the Deku Tree and since we're here, I there's the target in the Lost Woods and um The other thing. Uh, why can't I think of the words? This. The skull mask. There you go. Also, 
Is there not a Song of Storms grotto right here? There's one on Death Mountain, too. I gotta get up there. Is it there as both a child and an adult? I think so, right? Because when's the next time I'm gonna be in Death Mountain? If I... Well, Fire Temple? Well, no, I have this song. I don't know. I could go for some hearts, man. This would be a recovery heart. That would be great. That's even better, okay. I forgot about that item. Wow. So, Spirit Temple, let's just wreck that beast next. After, of course, the Deku Tree. Um... Yeah, we'll clean up Child Link, because nobody likes his voice. Oh, that's terrible. Child Link has feelings, too. As we all do. We all do. Come on, you used to be a pro at this. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. Let's just, uh... Go to the Deku Theater, see what that prize is real quick, and then I guess we could also trade in the mask and then just do the Deku Tree. Because we can! Alright, am I gonna find the hole right away? It should be right by the butterflies, right? Nope, never is. There it is! Okay, that was a lot faster than usual. Oh, I don't even know if I care about- that. what? See, I'm confusing the C buttons and the D pad again. As always. I don't care. Do your dance and give me whatever you're gonna do here. A token, eh. Alright, let's just go. Got a mask for you, buddy. I already played the song for him, right? Why is he not standing on there? Jeez. Get this going, just in case we need to do the whole mask sequence. Because there is the prize for the Mask of Truth. Um, and that's really it. Alright, Kakiri Forest, anything I gotta do here, or are we just going straight to Goma? Cleaning that up, and then we're done with, with Kid Link, right? Well, I gotta plant the thing, don't forget about the bean. Oh! Um... I got a full wallet, why not? I keep coming in here thinking that he sells something he doesn't have. <laughs> I don't know, man. Whatever. Alright, this is a little bit further than where we left off in the Deku Tree before, but all those rooms are irrelevant and nonsense. So to speed things up, we're cutting to here, and I have the boomerang so we can check this spider, and then we'll just go beat Goma and be done with it, but... We gotta go... Um... Actually... Does two boomerang throws behead this dude? It does! Did I know that before and forgot, or is that news to me? I don't know. But see, the thing is, you always have a sword in this game. A green rupee. Where's Nintendo Capri Sun when you need him? <laughs> to do the infamous green rupee scream. Uh, stick. Although I could use Din's fire, but that's a waste of magic. So, after this, um, warp to the, the desert with the Requiem, and plant the bean, and we could also do, like, the two rooms of the child side that matter. And don't even expunge the key that you get, because there's an extra key of the Spirit Temple when you play these randomizers. And get things out of order. You're out of order! Whatever. I got quotes for everything, man. Every potential word that is said links to a phrase or a song lyric in my brain. Or a quote. Watching speedrunners do these guys is crazy. It's just instantly in one shield they hit all three. I don't know how you learn that. And we're in much better standing to beat Goma here, no ammo issues. And I have Deku Nuts, if need be. That last Seeds fight was a little rough. Even for Goma standards. I don't know, this is like dying to a Goomba in Mario. I didn't die, but it was just, it took too long. Alright, one, and then you run away? No, I... 
Oh, I could have one cycled that. I wasn't expecting her to linger. Because I did the jump slash with the stick last time and she immediately got up. Whatever. We'll get her right here. Show yourself. There you go. There it is. All right. Child Link is almost done. We just got a few rooms to the Spirit Temple and to plant the bean. And I think there's some spiders around. But we're going to stay on the main path until we get stuck. Because it's been very good to us so far, man. I don't know why I said that with that stupid laugh talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. Stupid. How to annoy somebody in less than a second. What do we got here? Actually, this does matter. Is this a medallion? Because I never got the reward from Sheik at the temple. Yes, fire medallion. Does that count, though, for that? I don't know, but what I do know... Time to do my favorite temple, man. Love this place every time, never gets old. Fire temple could learn a thing or two. <laughs> There's always gonna be crapping on that temple, dude. I don't care. Ah, uh, instead of goofing around and being silly, what can we talk about? That was weird, backflipping onto the ledge there. Alright, final bean that we really need ever in this game. This unlocks another item and the spider at nighttime. And there's nothing else in this colossus. It's a colossal piece of crap. Whatever. Actually, you know what? I will take these hearts. It just takes some hearts. Are we singing that again? Didn't I do that already in this seed? Whatever, let's go. Turn in the wrong way again. How do I keep confusing left and right of this temple all of a sudden? It's the randomizer, man. It's mixing me up. Eh, excuses. Ooh, we got the wooden shield. We gotta be careful. Watch for those stupid bats, man. Here he comes. Oh, I thought I got it off in time. Whatever, we don't need this shield. It actually, it's more stylish without it. Ooh, I want those. Yeah. 14, a nice even number. My sister is bad with that. Like, if you change the volume in her car and it, it's an odd number, she freaks out. She's like, fix it, fix it! <laughs> I don't know. Weird stuff. People are strange, man. Especially when you're a stranger. And faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked. When you're unwanted. Streets are uneven when you're down. When you're strange. Nuts come out of a spider. That was good. It was a capacity upgrade, okay. Yeah, let's light this thing even though we don't really need to. Because we're going to prelude, prelude of light. Right out of here as soon as we get the two rooms done. It's basically two rooms. The two sides, that was one. This is two. Oh, this room. Okay, get out of here, buddy. I have the boomerang. I could do this the way you're supposed to, but I never do anymore. Stop it. Okay, don't miss the slingshot. Oh, that's going to slow me down. He's going to come slot me, chop me, whatever he does with that thing. Come on, come on, come on. Stop it. Oh, we got to be careful, man. Stalfos, Stalfos, everybody Stalfos. There it is. Okay. Do it right this time. You only have so many chances at this. Okay. I heard him going... Rup, rup, rup. Quit your chuckling. I'll, I'll freeze you one last time. There it is. Okay. Now I don't have a shield. Watch out for the flying pots. Ouch. <laughs> Alright. Sacrifice. It was a worthy sacrifice. What do we got? A key. Okay. Hang on to that for the adult side. We're not going to waste it in the stupid little kid cubby space. We're doing this whole dungeon the way I like to. This stuff is just for small key purposes. Still love that animation. Too bad there's no Din's fire move for Link and Smash. That's the thing. There's so many unused moves for all characters in that game. Which I get. You got to stick to a kind of basic thing that's fair and balanced. I don't know. Oh boy, he's down! 
All right, this is all that really matters because the things just bring down the bridge. A token. All right, we're done with being a kid in here. We're done with being a kid at all. Unless a Skulltula thing appears. I'll just get these. I don't care. Whatever. Real quick, before becoming an adult, let's get the next mask just in case we get stuck. Here we go. We're an adult. We got the gold gauntlets. We got the mirror shield. Let's do this thing. And for some reason, I didn't get a thing from Sheik at the temple. Um, I waited. Nothing happened. I ran so far away. Nothing happened. Do we care about the spider? I guess I should. That's a piece of art. Like, the, I actually want that, though. This is actually going to be a true test of double damage. We got Iron Knuckles galore, dude. I like the Iron Knuckles, though. You shouldn't take damage fighting them. I was just a little sloppy last time. Let's do it. This temple is so good, I can't get over it. I don't know how anybody could hate this temple. And some people do. And some people love the fire temple. Human tastes. It's strange how they're so different. So, we have a key already. I could just advance, but we might as well see. This is a randomizer after all. What? How do you whiff on that? You even use the boots. Okay. <laughs> Cleared the sinuses. Try this again. Should we do the boots again? Yeah, why not? There we go. The jump slash is more colorful, but... Also, I put the normal tunic back on because I was getting tired of that mustard yellow as an adult. I like this blue much better. So, what was I talking about before? The whole mom drama. Are we, I don't know if I really want to go back to that. I guess the take-home thing to say is I realize some people don't have a mother anymore and they would do anything to spend more time with their mother. And so I should keep that in mind. Even in the most strenuous hour where it's just too difficult to like bear the company or whatever. And it's not even that bad. Another small key, okay. I think they programmed it so the kid side can be fully completed as a kid and whatever. The old ones were not like that. This one might not be either. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the whole concept of family is it's like you're in it together no matter what, right? So things may like become absolute trash and turmoil. But as family, you're supposed to stick together through it all. It's just weird. We've led our own lives for so long and haven't really kept in good touch. We never were like a touch. Like I never saw my mom and dad hug or kiss or do anything like that. So all human emotions like that that are all touchy-feely, they're foreign to me. I don't know how to express them without feeling extremely weird. I saw a lot of fighting, I can tell you that much. But, I don't know. You grow up and you don't care about those things so much. I think it's just, it trains a certain negative thought process, though. That stays with you, even if you mature and understand both sides of, like, a divorce or whatever. Obviously, you're not, like, in your 30s being like, Oh, no! Mommy and Daddy don't love each other. Like, no, you get over that stuff real fast. But I guess it's like the initial trauma does things and stays with you. Warps the insides. Like, Black Malice. Like, Ganon. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling. As always. I don't know, and like, it's not to say, like, I don't... It's not like I hate my mother or, like, really can't get along. No, it's not like that at all. 
when we do talk a lot sometimes, it's just there's an oddness that is very hard to explain. I think I explained it pretty well in the Shadow Temple, and there's no need to continue with it. Because that's not why people watch Zelda randomizers. Well, that's the thing, too. I kind of touched on it before. Um... Or it seems like that's the only thing worth doing anymore, is these Zelda randomizers. Alright, so here we go, doing the kid side as an adult. Um... The bomb shoes. Let's do it. This is where you appear, if you do crawl as a kid in the cubby, on that side of it. But it's just so much faster and easier to just do it all as an adult. Two chests. Let's do it. Oh, and the spider, too. Don't forget that spider. Why did I say it weird like that? I don't know what I'm saying. Deku seeds. Not gonna need them unless... Well, that's not true. We might have to go spider hunting. Bomb shoes! Definitely will take those. And they were real this time, so that's good. Loud cars always going by. What can you do? Now for the map chest. I don't know, I feel like things are easier when you kind of have yourself together. If you got money and a job and you're stable and things are doing good, then a lot of your energy is free. Like, there's not... You don't have a bunch of stress barreling down on you. Also, we're over 40 tokens. Getting ready for the next room. Let's do it. Got the fire arrows this time. I didn't have that last time. But yeah, you know how, like, if you go into a situation already stressed out because life is just insane and you can't get it together, it doesn't take much to just be too much. And then you're overwhelmed and stuff. But if you don't have that and everything is going relatively okay, you have a lot more patience and time. And... I don't know, man. It's hard to explain. Except it's not. I just feel like everything I'm saying this time around is painting me out to be like this really bad person. Maybe I am. I don't know. I don't like myself. I never did. Are you kidding me? I'll be the first one to tell you that I should die. What? Yeah, we went that dark. Stomach it, swallow it, digest it. It's real. But we're gonna not talk about it anymore. <laughs> I don't know, man. But, uh... I don't know. Volunteering is a thing. Gonna set for Roar's Wind here. Because, uh, we can. It'll help. When we hookshot over to the child side, we can just come back here, because this is the way forward. I'm out of magic, too. Gotta get some more magic. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? It's nice to have the mirror shield. Let's do it. Double magic is a thing. That would be nice to find, because that would solve all my magic woes. Nope. There's the 40 nuts, though. Last capacity upgrade of those. I never use Deku nuts, man. Also, is there a really good trick for these guys that always works? Because if I ever knew it, I forgot it. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... Volunteer work is a thing that you could definitely do with your time, but you still also need real money. So you can't just be working for free and doing happy things for people. I mean, that would be an awesome way to live. Just kind of go house to house, do some things for some people, and they feed you dinner at the end of it, and then you just move on. It's like a nomadic gypsy thing. <laughs> I don't know. But that's not how the real world works anymore. It's very hard to do. Iron Knuckle, let's do it. Gotta be super careful. Actually, you know what? I might do this the coward way. Because one slip up and I might actually be dead. Don't they do... They do four or five hearts with an axe swing in the standard thing. So double that. Yeah, I'm like dead, dude. Are you like dead or are you? I hate the word like, man. I say it too much. There I go, talking about another thing I hate. 
Negativity, man. The most attractive thing. Not. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It all makes me wonder. All right, let's get a little brave here. All right, let's not be brave. Let's be safe. We got the armor off. There we go. I probably could have used the sword for the whole thing, but, um... I don't know. With the whole double damage thing. And I don't have a fairy. But this is the coolest part of the Spirit Temple in Randomizers. Going, ignoring the kid side, basically, and going through it backwards as an adult. Because this chest only plops down if you come through this door. Alright, that's crap. But this other one is always there. So now we can go through the kid side backwards, and that's the coolest way to play this temple. That you unfortunately can't do in the vanilla game. Because it's just... So linear, man. I don't know. Another arrow. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, we get to fight another iron knuckle, and this is cool because you can hit him through behind the chair. I don't know how many times before he breaks the chair. One, two, three, run away! Okay. Should I be brave this time? Oh, gotta be careful with those extra stabs. It is. All right, you know what? We're just gonna be safe from here on out. That wasn't bad. Oh, I didn't even have to kill him. <laughs> Going through backwards. I forgot. Well, you never pass up a chance to fight an iron knuckle. That's like the most fun in this game. Spider on the wall here. What do we got? That's the big Goron sword. I always forget about this thing. I don't really like it that much as I did when I was a kid because it makes using the shield hard. And the Master Sword sometimes looks cool. I don't know. Oh, I don't have magic. And you can't use sticks as an adult. I can't light the torches. That's one chest I have to pass up. Oh, where do you get magic in this temple? Oh, well. Hopefully that's not anything major. Still don't have the hammer, that's the- Oh! This spider up here, too. I never grabbed this. I don't know how. I guess I got distracted doing whatever else I was doing. Do you have magic? No, you have a key. Okay. Alright, well, I think we're done now. The kid's side is all wrapped up. Let's use Ferrore's Wind and go back to that war point we set. And go to the end. I don't think- I didn't get the boss key yet, did I? So, that's still somewhere. Well, yeah, the negativity thing, I, that's one thing I can't stand, is how negative I am. I've been watching a lot of random YouTube videos, because I deleted my entire watch history and, like, everything, so now it's, like, recommending all, like, the popular videos. And it's always positive stuff. Like, one of the ones that I do watch every now and then is, the, you know, the channel Hi-Ho Kids? It's just little kids that get to meet random people. Like, people that do specific jobs, or have a specific disability. And it's always so positive all the time. And it just always makes me look at myself and be like, Jesus, what went wrong? <laughs> I don't know. And there's another channel of a guy who's blind. And just is, like, super positive all the time. It's always the people with actual disabilities that are, like, super severe. Or, like, terminal illness. There's the boss key where it's supposed to be. How odd is that? Also, I have magic now because of these slugs. There you go. I could go back for that, but... Eh, I don't know. Let's just keep going. But that's the thing I've known for a very long time. It's like the people that have all the reason in the world to be negative and upset are usually the most positive ones. Which kind of makes you think and look at yourself a little hard in the mirror. But I don't know. Like, I hate to use the word depression as, like, an excuse, but I mean... The pessimism and hopelessness is part of it. Like how I took a break from this. I spent several days just in bed, unable to do most things. Like, I got up and did the bare minimum and went right back to bed. Because it was just exhausting to be awake, and I just didn't care. 
And when those moments hit, I found there's nothing that I can do except ride them out. Until it eventually kind of goes away and then you pick up the pieces of everything that you should have been doing and doing all that time. And that usually just kind of... It's a vicious cycle of you kind of start to take a few steps forward and then you fall into the same routine and repeat the same mistakes and it's just terrible every time. I don't know. It's like therapy and medication only go so far and after like 20 years of trying all of them. You kind of start to feel like, yeah, they don't, they don't actually work. So then what else is there? And people will tell you everybody's got an answer, but none of them actually apply to you. You gotta figure it out yourself. And that's the hardest thing in the world. But yeah, positivity is definitely way more attractive than negativity. Like how many times do you hear people say, oh, oh yeah, well with an attitude like that, blah 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 blah. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that in my life. <laughs> Alright, on to the actual boss fight. Probably gonna cut that whole thing out, although it wasn't so bad this time. I got every hit right on target, didn't miss. And also, I have the big orange sword. Let's make sure we one cycle this. Put it away though, so we can actually use the shield. Looks like we got ice. Ice, ice, baby. Also, can I ask you guys, what's the appeal of these Zelda randomizers besides the randomizer itself? Because that's the thing I've been wondering. Since they are clearly the most popular things I'd ever do on this channel. And I think some of you even have gone as far as to think like I haven't even been around since the last one, which was like a year ago or whatever. There we go. But that's not true, I've been doing all kinds of Let's Plays and stuff. But I, I know the answer to that, like I can hear the voices being like, Yeah, and they suck! <laughs> you know? It's like, that's not, they're not as good as the Zelda randomizer. I don't know, I don't understand the appeal. Like I get, I remember the first time I found out about Zelda randomizers, I was ec ecstatic about the fact that they exist and it just adds so much replay value to a classic. But I feel like they've been around for a while and I've been riding this train. That's the hammer, dude. I mean, it's still kind of exciting, like, for moments like this. That's it. That's the final piece. We're done. Fire Temple, we've dabbled with it. Let's go clean it up. Oh, the Fire Temple. Try to stay positive, despite all the, the thing. Put on the mustard yellow. Also, the Zora tunic. We don't need it. We're doing the water... I would love to do the water temple right now, actually. But I just donned the tunic. Let's, let's clean up the stupid Fire Temple and be done with it. Hopefully we'll find the boss key right away and just be like, nope, out of here, because I don't need anything else. Spirit medallion's nice. Like, I'm going straight to the water temple. I don't even care. And then we're good, right? That's it. Or... Did I do the forest temple yet? Why do I feel like I did? I didn't, though. No, we gotta do forest as well. Why did I think that I already did that? That's a strange, strange thing. All right, well, we know we need to go into the hammer room. Let's do it. And Fire Temple, please be nice to me this time. Please. It's all I ask. Well, no. We already know. I say it all the time. Put the negative energy out there and it comes back to you. Murphy's Law. That's why you gotta be positive. That's the reason why everything is terrible, because you're so negative all the time. <laughs> People full-heartedly believe that. And why didn't the bat come to get me? Taking a day off. I feel you, Mr. Bat. Speaking of... Oh! Whiffing and stuff. But yeah, like, I don't know. In my mind, these Zelda randomizers, as fun as and cool as they are, just like anything... Oh man, I'm taking a ton of damage. Anyway, just like anything... They get old after a while. Like, I got burnt out on it. A year ago. And... It's been fun so far to do two seeds back to back. I could think of some other options to enable for another one, but I'm already kind of feeling like... Alright, let's put Ocarina of Time aside for a little bit. 
and maybe do something else, but then I'm also more than ever seeing like, well, something else doesn't do anything for me. It's like a waste of time, really. But I don't know. Like, there are still games, like, as long as I can muster the happiness and maintain it, like, I want to do both Paper Mario games and Star Fox Adventures primarily. Maybe revive my Resident Evil Let's Play that I deleted a long time ago. And, uh, redo it. Although with that, I still don't know if I would do my old GameCube one or play the HD remaster. Because I don't know if I want to spend that money on basically the same game and the camera pans a little bit each screen. Which I don't even know if I like that feature, <laughs> honestly. And plus, with GameCube, you can use action replay codes. With the Switch, you can't do that. Yet, anyway. Although people have already hacked the Switch, right? I don't like to mess with that, though, with modern Nintendo stuff, since they're so quick of, like, banning you from all online features and stuff like that. I don't know. And Perfect Dark Randomizer, I will... Whatever happens to me and this channel, whenever Perfect Dark Randomizer is released, I will come back and play that. Absolutely. Probably more than once. Because Perfect Dark is forever, the credits tell you. Okay, now we can get the spider finally, because we're here with the Song of Time. Hey, uh, I want some chocolate! Gotta liven things up, this is boring! That's the old man critic. We're gonna start introducing him a little bit more often. No, just kidding. I'm not gonna do that at all. He's terrible. Nah, it's just the voice is annoying, probably. Look at this guy. He wants to be a shop vac. But he doesn't realize he's mushy. Mushy, yet metallic. Only a like-like. These tiles are getting the best of me, man. A token. One-handed big Goron sword. Nice. Cutting out that room. I hate that room. I'm gonna say it till I'm blue in the face and falling flat by a boulder. I love you, Fire Temple. Tell me more about where you come from and what you do. I'm ever so curious. What's in here? What's in here? Get excited! It's a key! That means we get to see... <gasps> more Fire Temple! Yes! Oh, yeah! Hit me harder, Mr. Boulder. I love it so. These are my two poles, man. What? That sounds probably weird when you don't know where my mind is going. I'm talking about mental poles, son. That's another small key. I want a boss key that's a little bit on the Wii side. And not my pole. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Something's wrong with me. We know this. This is not news. But yeah, you got the one side. I'm not even bipolar, though. But I swear, it's just a facade, man. When you realize you start to plummet into depression territory and you're just boring everybody, you gotta get weird. That's, that's my thing, anyway. It's my, how I deflect it. Very unsuccessfully. Look at there's a boulder. What can you do? Total eclipse of the heart. Oh, the Scarecrow song doesn't work from down here. That's a bunch of crap. That's like Forest Temple nonsense. Not working. You gotta be in a specific little tile. Get out of town. Seriously, get out. No, just kidding. Please don't fall, I swear. Oh, ho, ho. I felt the draft on my little toesy woesies. And it was not very cool. That's cold. Thank you. You know, just what I wanted. The computer knows me. It sees what I do. I don't know. Getting lucky with these hover boots, man. It's scary, but it seems safe. All it takes is that one time. Did you remember to bring your parachute? Yes, Mom. Well, I just want to make sure you have a good time. Say hi to your friends for me. I've officially gone senile. It's kind of like the Nile. See? What? Don't ask. I don't know. Oh, this room. Okay. Pierre, my bladder's empty. Two spiders and a compass chest. Let's do it. 
I probably should have cast Furore's Wind. Oh, that better not come back to bite me. I'm scared now. Don't think about it. Don't think. You know, it can't be good for you. That was too many syllables. Didn't work. You lost it. You never had it. You're dumb. Told that guy. Hey, there's the minuet of forest. And quite foresty it is. It's nice and green. Green is a good color. Can you tell me your favorite color? <laughs> Spider! What are you? You're a key. Still not the key that I want. But I will take it. And I will smile. Because it's silver. Maybe I could sell it. I don't know, son. Oh, get it together. You're going to miss out the timer. It's, it's doing stuff. Oh, right on the little chime. That's right. My foot is better than you, Mr. Chime. How's it taste? Oh, stay on the... Oh. Pierre? Pierre? Okay. We are back. Nothing happened. Get out of my way, Mr. Slug. Don't throw the bomb. Drop the bomb. Thank you, Mr. Bomb. You listen so well. Uh-oh. Double damage. Shouldn't have done that. Sorry, Link. That's alright. He's what, 17? His knees are good. He can take it. Okay, the shortcut is open. Now, if I fall, I just have to go one room back, and it's not the end of the world. Right? Right. Fast forward, because I don't want to sit through this whole climb. I hope the slug is not here at the end. Oh, this temple is so stupid. That's my own fault. I was fast forwarding like a dope. Impatient, son. Fast forward, I don't care. Get the hearts. Get out of here. No! Shoulda used Furore's Wind. I said it, and I was in that same spot three other times, and I still didn't do it. Are we surprised? The Fire Temple. It's this room. That, that, just perfectly exemplifies exactly what could go wrong in this temple. It's that one spot. Furore's Wind could, uh, could help you. That's why it's there. Now we know. But that still doesn't mean that the, des the design is good. Does it? I don't know. Just be happy, dude. Be Bob Ross and Fred Rogers. Don't get mad. Don't get sad. Zen mastery, son. And hang out with the animals. Because animals are nice. They don't talk. They don't yell. They might growl, but they'll eat food out of the palm of your hand, and that's a good doggy. I don't know. Let's just get out of here. Where is the boss key? Where is the secret weapon? Did it, did it, did it, did it. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. I'm almost dead. It's not good. It's not good, man. Ah, yes, the hallway. Oh, no, the fire mazes are next, aren't they? Yep, I hear them jetting around out here. Oh, if only I had the key. Oh! Memory is a thing. You know, for as long as I can remember, I've had memories. Ha-ha! That's not my own joke. That's the thing I heard once. I think it was Whose Line is, is It Anyway? Colin Mockery takes the credit for that one. I don't know if he thought of it or if he got it from somewhere, but it was funny. Because Colin Mockery is a funny dude. I still watch Whose Line clips, the Drew Carey version, because that's the best version, man. The UK show is pretty good, too, sometimes, every now and then. But I don't know, Drew Carey had just like this, uh... This friendship with those guys that just made it funny in between all the skits and stuff. There's their banter and ripping on each other and stuff. 
It's uh, funny stuff, because that's what friends do. They're there to keep you in check and make fun of you. So that way you don't have to do it yourself, because then it's just bitter when that happens. But if it's your friend doing it, I don't know. Somehow it's okay. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't know how social things work. I'm just a dude. Hi, Goron. Run for the hills. Set up shop. There we go, another heart! Yeah! Oh man, that's timer for the water temple because we still have not found the Zora tunic. Oh, I was supposed to go back to the stupid training ground because it's in there, right? We we know this information. Rain ram rain. I don't have the key yet, but we're still gonna lower the pillar because we can. Um No, I need to go through the door because that's a dead end. Woof! <laughs> My fairy woofed at me. This one, this is the only fire maze section that I always remember. I don't know why, you stick to the outside, and then this is a dead end, and then, oh, these bats though. And you cut through here, and then you just cut back out and run straight through. Oh, we gotta fight Dancing Charles again, that dope. I don't wanna fight him. Stupid. Do I cut it out? I tend to cut these stupid things out, right? Let's cut it out! Here I am in the hammer maze. My head feels like it's in a daze. That was a good, good rhyme. Very timely, too. Didn't take, like, seven seconds to think of it. Run for the hills. Hopefully these hover boots help. I don't think I've ever attempted this with the hover boots. Eh, actually, they're not going to help at all. Because you're constantly going up by increments. So you would just hover at the wrong elevation and fall to your death. Boss key! Boss hard! Let's do it! I'm coming for you, dragon boy! You best sit down. Or something. Uh, where's the fastest way out of here? I don't ever remember. There's a thing. I knocked it down already. There it is. That takes you right back to the thing, doesn't it? Very descriptive. Using the word thing multiple times. That's not the thing. So there we go again with it, by accident. Can't think. Should I start to get serious again? Or should I just keep being goofy? I don't know. These are the questions that we never know the answer to. I feel like sometimes I have something meaningful to say, but then other times I push it too far, and then it's like... Everybody gets a little taste of my own brain. And they're like, too sad then. And that's not good. So, but then being stupid the whole time, that's just dumb. Again with the bomb. Why do I keep pressing left C for the hammer? All right, we're done, it's over. The worst of it is, behind us. Next is the water temple, then the forest temple. It's smooth sailing. And the water temple could end up being really quick, like last time. Find the boss key right away and just be like, I'm out of here. I don't need anything in that temple. Should that be the case? Alright. Double damage with this guy. I don't even know how much damage. His fire breath does a lot, doesn't it? He's easy, though. You don't get hit by this guy ever. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I don't remember what seed it was. Was it the devil seed again? When he comes out of his hole and whips his hair back and forth. <laughs> if you're too close to him, that actually knocks you down. And only in that seed did that happen to me. Never before in my life did that happen. So you gotta keep your distance. Because right now I'm dangerous. Big Goron Sword is gonna wreck him in two seconds. Maybe the bow. Can he actually die in midair? I've never seen that happen, and that would be really cool if he could. I suppose you would have to purposely not damage him and let him do his rock cycle, and then just keep using the bow. Although, I don't know. Don't you have to hit him to trigger his flying around? There it is. Two jump slashes. I'm speeding it up. We're at the end of this game. There's no, there's no more excitement to this. 
I mean, potentially, but... What is this? Oh! 30 sticks! I suppose that's nice. How does it make you feel? Don't know. It's a water temple, right? Did fire, let's do water. Just chain down the elements. There's the water medallion. Princess Rudo. That's one hot fish. No, no. It's felt like something to say, maybe, perhaps. Let's take one last look. Yeah, I'm missing two medallions. I definitely did not do the forest temple. Why was that in my brain that I thought that I did? I don't know. Let's put on this tunic. A minute and four seconds, but that's with two hearts missing. Keep that in mind. I love the water temple. Yeah, I said it. How's it taste? Stomach it, dude. It was said. Swallow it, embrace it, it goes down like water. And it's good. You know why? Because I got Furore's Wind, and this is a very systematic temple. You could perfect every little movement if you really wanted to. And especially with these randomizers, when you come in with things like the hover boots and the long shot early, you can do things like that puzzle down there. Look at it so. Let's go in here. What is this? Oh, this is the block. Yeah, that's set up for that. What? GameCube D-pad, dude. It thinks, it thinks you press four buttons when you only press one. It's an overachiever. Also, check out that little timer glitch trick. It only works for so long, though. But you can keep resetting the timer. More proof that you don't need the, uh... Whatchamacallit, tunic. I don't know how that works in the vanilla game, though, with the pause screen. But with this little hotkey thing, which is the best thing ever. Like, I actually look forward to the water temple now because of this thing. This D-pad thing is amazing. I can put shoes on and take them off. Just like so. Do it with me. Are you having fun? It's riveting stuff. I don't know where the shoes go when they're off and suddenly you don't sink, but you know... We don't question these things. Now they just gotta limit this down. I've said this before though. Sing a message song. <laughs> I'm going insane again. I don't think you ever are anything else. Notice how I morphed Are We Surprised into a different sentence. Because that's how we do things. Like Montel Jordan. That's how we do it, man. It is Montel Jordan, right? Not Montel Williams. No, yeah, that's a different thing. That's that's a bomb. There's a bomb. Can I do it one last try for all the Marvels and the Carville cakes? Oh, that was close. Did you see that? I was right there. My knee was on the ledge, but the ledge said no way. That's a bunch of crap. I got real excited I got it for once. I would have been so happy. But now, I am sad. And even a little mad. Not really. Hey, what's up? My name is Navi and I bark. Woof woof dog, how does it taste? Alright, I gotta stop. I gotta chill out. I'm going crazy. Too crazy with the nonsense. This is the Zora Tunic. Oh, but how cool would that have been, though? Get ready on that Furore's Wind. I don't think that you can argue that this is the Temple of Ocarina of Time that has the most benefit of Furore's Wind. With all the pausing and the pushing of the blocks and the playing of the song. Why not eliminate a lot of it? With a nice green animation. Yes, sir. Let's go get this spider. That would be cool if this is the Zora Tunic. This would be a neat spot to find it. It requires you to know how to breathe underwater yourself. And that's your reward. I like that idea. I don't know why. I just do. Also, if we never find the Zora Tunic, I'll never know what color it is. And it will forever haunt me till the day I die. Not really. I actually don't care that much, despite my inability to let go of the past. It doesn't go to that extreme. Out of my way. 
What was he doing? One heart of damage? I wasn't even paying attention. Can I hit him? The big horn sword's long, dude. Yeah! A key. Okay. I wonder where the boss key's gonna be, because it could be way down at the end of all things. Last time, I didn't have to even go into, like, the deep part of this dungeon. A minute and twenty is our full time limit. That's plenty of time to do everything you gotta do underwater. I think you really only need like 30... No, because it takes a while to get to that room that I'm thinking of. You probably need about a minute. 50 seconds maybe, but that's probably pushing it. We'll see. When we get to that room, it's coming up. Actually, no, it's on the inside of the main tower. That's right. The one where you gotta kill the, the four or five spike balls and the three clams or the two clams. Yeah, that D-pad function, dude. I can't get over how amazing it is. What is this? Oh, this leads to the snake block. Yes, that is right. The small key, and then this is where we first furore's wind. I always think this room is leading to, like, raising the water up for some reason. Until I remember, no, it is not. It's leading to the whirlpool. The whirlpool hot tub. They have them in hotels, don't they? I'm actually going to be out of town for a week in November, hanging out with a friend, and I can't wait. Because I don't get to hang out with like, any friends at all. Like, ever anymore in my life. But basically ever since college ended. It's like once in a blue moon, you get to see your friends and it's good. But, uh, distance is an evil thing, man. I don't like it. But I can't wait for November. I can't wait to be hanging out with real life people doing real life things and enjoying life and not be playing video games. Yes! Oh, I can't wait. Set for Roar's Wind again. <laughs> uh, phase two of the Water Temple. Where are we? Um, you know, because it was so much fun last seed, I am going to long shot the torch. Even though I have a key to access the central tower, discovering this last time was a lot of fun. So I'm doing it again. Out of my way. There it is. That's so cool. I want to do that every time I replay the Water Temple for the rest of my life. I don't know how many times more that's going to be, but yeah. We get to finish this block puzzle. See, are you feeling the excitement of the Water Temple? This place is good, contrary to the popular opinion, which is always wrong anyway. Like all the people who say Majora's Mask isn't a good game. Or Golden Eyes better than Perfect Dark. Excuse me, where... Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. You best shut up. But the Water Temple really is objectively better than the Fire Temple. Fight me on it! You're gonna lose! Because I say so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whatever. I would agree the Iron Boots and the Zelda's Lullaby business is really annoying. But they did away with one of them in this randomizer, so that's cool. Out of my way, Nimrod! Alright, where are we now? Oh, yes. The compass. Yeah, it's just cool, man. I love the design of this place. I'm sorry, I just do. That's a stupid thing in Zelda popularity, though. Instantly hate everything water-related. Why? Why do the water temples get so much hate all the time? In every game. It's not even Zelda. It's like, if it's a water theme, it's terrible. Automatically. I don't understand it. Great Bay has a thing or two to say about that. And this place does too. And the Mario water levels are sometimes fun. Not all of them, I would, I would say, but they're okay. I'm trying to think of water themed things in other games right now, and I can't. But I really don't understand that. Why is it so hated? Ah, yes, let's save the key, because we can. We, on, we might have to fight Dark Link this time. He might have the boss key. That would be pretty cool. Instead of the long shot. Or maybe Mr. Spider up here has it. Or maybe it's actually in the boss key chest like it was in the Spirit Temple. Way down at the end of all things. Nope. It's just a blue rupee. What's the thing I always tell myself when I'm playing Vanilla Ocarina of Time in this temple? Two keys before the carpet, right? Or is it three keys? I think it's two. Like, never go in that bottom floor carpeted room area unless you have two keys and you've done everything else. Otherwise, you will get stuck 
at the boss key chest door, if that makes any sense. Come on, Spikes. I can't move Link. He's... Oh, he's going from spike to spike. Go in between them. Yo, dope. What is happening? Oh, he didn't take damage anyway. The timer thing. The trick stopped working. Okay, we've got a minute. Let's do this. This is the hardest part of the water temple when you do it without a tunic. This is where hearts matter. That sounded like a, a stupid lyric from a stupid love song. <laughs> There it is, yes. I was hoping I'd keep them all before they sprouted. Boom. Lock it and go. How much time did that take? So about 20 seconds. So 15 seconds once they drop. Yeah, I guess you do need about a minute total. The boss key! Yes! Oh, we're done. Um, hold on. Get the bombs. Furore's Wind. Let's at least do this, because this is the fun part. You get to use Furore's Wind, and that's fun. But the video game thing, dude, I don't mean to sound like I hate playing video games, but I will say, I'm... I do need a break, I think. I think I go throw on the bombs again. Like, I know I say every video and at the end of every Let's Play and stuff, like, yeah, I think I'm going to be stopping for a while, but I think I really mean it this time. I never knew that the Scarecrow was there. But let's go fight Morpho. We're done here. And then straight to the Force Temple, straight to Ganon, and we're done. Yeah. Gotta get another Morpho quick kill. And some magic? No? I thought one was a fairy, one was magic. I was wrong. Yeah, but I really gotta hit my nose to the grindstone, or however that phrase goes. Is it nose on the grindstone, or nose to the grindstone? Which article is all over that grindstone? That's what I wanna know. Actually, hang on, before I finish that thought, more for quick kill, let's do it. We got Bongo Bongo, ouch. I could never grab this thing immediately. I always gotta wait for it to get in its little amoeba buddy, or whatever this thing is. Alright, to the corner, let's do this and not mess it up. We got Bongo Bongo, now it's you which you need. Yeah, there it is! That's that big Oron Sword business, dude! I like to see that. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. So now we menu at a forest and go straight to the forest temple, finish my thought, and we are we've got this game done. Another seed down. Uh yeah, it really doesn't matter. We don't need the Zord to... We don't need anything. We're done. But, uh... The grindstone thing. That's right. That's what I was talking about. Um... I spend... Every hour, every minute... Relatively speaking, of my days off. Meaning the days that I'm not working my job. My actual job, because... This is not a job. Not for me, anyway. Uh... Small key, hey! We needed to beat Morpha first anyway before we could explore the temple, it seems. So it seems. What is that? That's uh, th what the dude says in Pirates of the Caribbean. Force Medallion, hey, hold on. Okay, check the fire arrow prize just for fun. And then we'll actually Prelude of Light and see Sheik's prize for the Force Medallion. And then we'll Minuet a Forest to the Force Temple just to see what those two prizes are for fun. It's something to do. But the grindstone thing, dude. Yeah, I spent all of my days off doing this stuff. Making videos, finishing series, editing videos, editing commentary. Whatever it is I gotta do to make a video happen. I want that. Wait, I don't need that. I'm not paying attention, I'm thinking of other things. Okay, what did I say, Prelude of Light? I could be in a choir. With a pipe like that? I don't know what I'm saying. Is it Forest Medallion exclusive? Because I swear I have not been getting it every time that I've switched... ...or come back here. Well, there you go. Didn't need it. Let's, let's just do this. We gotta keep this relatively short. Uh, 
The Devil Seed was like three hours, right? Oh yeah, the actual menu at a forest. <laughs> I always forget about that, it just catches me off guard. No, the Devil Seed was six hours, but I edited it down to three hours, cause yeah! That's how you do that stuff. But um... My point is, I spend all of my free time doing YouTube videos. And uh... That means I spend zero of my free time when I'm not at work... Searching for other jobs, or expanding a skill set of any kind, or doing anything remotely at all to expand myself as an adult. And uh... That's not good, man. Especially considering since 2010 I've held a degree and it hasn't really aided me at all. So there's a very dire need for change and I'm, a, I'm gonna be 32 in January. Which, that's frightening in and of itself. But it's like I have eight years to make something happen. I don't know. I'm gonna go this way for once. I always go the Song of Time way because you're supposed to because you don't have the bow yet. But we have the bow so let's go this way and change it up. So yeah, um, I really gotta focus on that stuff, cause I haven't liked my job for a very long time. And I'm just... Why does that happen sometimes? Also... No, that Scarecrow song really doesn't work. You can't do it from down here. Okay, so I'm not insane. That's such a dumb thing, though. I mean, I guess... As I've said before, I guess it's so if you do fall down... Um... Nehru's love! I forgot all about that! Yeah, it really doesn't work. Okay, wait. I'm doing this all kinds of backwards now. Um, can I reach these? These seem to be energy resources. <laughs> that Mega Man... What is it? Mega Man 8? Dr. Wowie. Wait, yes! There it is! Oh, Link, you gotta grab that. Hold on. I think it was just a weird angle. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Watch out. See? Instincts. I sensed you. Octa Rock. Trying to get all in my business. Oh, yeah. We're doing this backwards. This is, I like this stuff, man. Changing up the pathfinding or whatever. Not the path. Well, you know what I'm saying. The route. Where is its route? I've never come in this room from this door before. Well, get back here! Where are you going? Okay. We're not doing this this close to the game, trying to rush to Ganon here. Get out of my face! There we go. See? Make up for the impatience with a... Fast forward. A piece of heart. Oh, we're gonna need it. There's a lot of Stalfos in here. And one jump slash by them, and boy, you'll be hurting. I can't reach him from here. Gotta get a little bit closer. Whoa! Eh, just a token. Oh, I hope for more. Wow, we almost have 50, man. That's the final prize before the big 100. Which, I don't think the 100 is part of anything. I think they're nice enough to you that you never need that. This is nice falling right where the chest is and not having to run down here. Although this is a neat little well path. Alright, let's go. Spider, what are you? That's a key. Nice. I was wondering when we would get one of those. Although this is normally a key. Alright, big on sword versus Stalfos. We always wins. Yes. Oh, hey now, Z-Target. Navi, get with me here. Daydreaming. Picking dandies. Or dandelions or whatever. There it is. Stab him in the kneecaps. Blah, 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 blah. And the small key is the Zora Tunic. Watch. Here it comes. Where is the thing? Now, small key. Okay. Blah. But yeah, I was talking to a good friend on the phone and stuff, and uh, through the conversation, it was basically reaffirmed to me that this YouTube stuff is probably not good for me. 
because I let the numbers get to me too much and my mood kind of follows suit and then pair that with my misery in the day-to-day -day life of my actual job and like not actually moving forward in life it all just amounts to not good do 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 That's another key. Nice. Let's go. I got the hover boots so we can make this jump. Let's do it. I do like doing this stuff, though. See, like, I enjoy playing games. Let's... Like, I'm not saying I'm... Uh, there has been plenty of times in my life where I blame video games very harshly for a lot of things. But really, all along, it's just my inability to say no to them. Whoa, come on now, big Goron. You gotta... Let me use my shield a little bit. Whatever, maybe he... Why aren't you not turning not green? Yeah, that made sense. Oh, he's hurting me a lot. Stop it! Dude! Where is some lawn lawn milk when you need it? Okay. I'm using this move. I was not confident in my quick spin ability. Had to go for the actual hold B to charge your laser. You can also lock all in it this way. Move. Blue. Come on, heart container, I could use it. Oh! Well, that's nice, too! Alright, twist in the hallway, let's go get that boss key chest. And then immediately twist the hallway and keep going. We'll cut this down as well, because it's a lot of back and forth, and that's unnecessary. When you've seen it a hundred times. Woof woof, Nobby says. So yeah, as much as I hate it, I don't want to do it at all, but I really got to focus on, like, reality things. Woof! <laughs> there she goes again, barking. Oh, there she is. Hey, Joel. Oh, I got to get my Deku nuts, man. I see why people praise the Forest Temple so much. It is pretty unique. I remember it took some time for it to grow on me, though. I really didn't get why people thought it was so amazing. And there are still some times where I'm kind of meh about it, but it definitely is still one of the game's best temples, I think. Oh, the big Goron sword is really messing me up here. I don't know why. I'm just used to the shield. There we go. But it does pay off. I mean... Yeah, it's just been a while since I've used the big Goron Sword. That's the whole point in any video game. If it does a lot of damage, it usually comes with a sacrifice in some other area like defense. Game balancing, man. I was th that was the thing. I actually mentioned to my mom when I was out at that lakeside restaurant with her. Like I was saying in that last seed, how Eric Smith or whatever is leaving Nintendo and was talking about localization writing. I mentioned that to my mom, and she got so defeatist about it. Like, she encouraged me to pursue it, but then was, like, telling me all the things and sending me so many articles about why, like, I shouldn't even consider that a career, basically. And I found, like, this article by some dude that worked for Bioware, and he was basically dissuading anybody from pursuing the job. But I don't know, he, it was written very cockily. There's that jump slash for you. I knew that was gonna get me. Thank God for the fairy. Okay, hold on. Let's focus. The writer, though. He wrote that article so... Like, he was so much better than everybody else. Because I guess he's in the position he actually hires writers. Because he actually climbed the ladder that far that that's his role now. And, uh... He wrote it as if he's been dealing with a lot of cocky young kids who think they can write a story like the best of them and expect to get hired and magically everybody like bow to their story. Because I swear every paragraph was just dissing anybody who wanted to become a writer for video games. So I don't know, I just, I didn't find it to be a good article. But it did kind of discourage me from even like caring about trying to pursue that. Combined with things, too. Like, ah, uh, well, I don't know. 
It was just a weird... I, got, I mentioned one thing that, like, yeah, this. I heard this thing that I thought was interesting, and I might be willing to pursue it, maybe. And immediately, I just got hit with an overdose of negative information about it. I was like, well, thanks for the support. <laughs> I guess I won't do that. I'll just stay in a cave playing games for YouTube. No, not really. Because that's the thing. Even if that took off and I did make enough money to sustain myself doing that. I don't think I would be happy. I would forever judge myself for not doing an actual out there in the real world thing. It doesn't even have to be something physical. It's just like anything that is practical, I suppose. I don't know. The whole YouTube thing is definitely a scary. I, I feel like I wasted a lot of three years it was basically three years doing this between the former channel and this one and it only ever really kind of started to take off because of these Zelda randomizers as I've said before but even those will die one day so it really makes you sit and question how much longer and I don't know and all along the way, it's just not attractive. Like, it has so much negative connotation to it. Just the fact that you're at home playing games and, like, not out doing things. That alone, if that's what you do, and it's not even for YouTube, like, if that's just your main hobby, like, so many people make fun of that all the time anyway. Like, what are you, you living in your mama's basement playing games in your 30s? Which I'm not, thankfully. But I am 30 and I'm still playing video games and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not going to go on this rant anymore. Like, I feel like every video I'm trying to say basically the same thing. But that is a thing. There's like a weird stigma with that. If you're a gamer and that's like your main hobby, people associate that. It's like a synonym for a loser, basically. Unless you have something really great to supplement it and just be like, oh yeah, I just do this occasionally on my free time. Then that's fine. I don't know, it's just, it made me think a lot recently, like, in college when Facebook first came around and it was a new thing and you needed a college email, I was really big on the Facebook stuff and I would do status updates all the time because it was, I could finally talk to all my high school friends because my first year of college was pretty rough and I didn't really talk to a lot of people and then somebody convinced me to join Facebook again still when you needed a college email to join it wasn't open to the public yet and uh, I kept in touch with a lot of my close friends that way and it kind of became addicted to it in a sense and that caused a lot of trouble because I posted a lot of status updates I shouldn't have and, like, a lot of my mental health issues really started to show, and it made certain relationships a little bit rough. Twitter, I never really got involved with it. The only reason I have a Twitter now is to supplement this channel, which I don't even really do anything on it. But I would say YouTube is the biggest poison of all of them. The trifecta of social media. Because with YouTube, if you so dare attempt to become a YouTuber in the sense that you want to make money doing it, it kind of, that seed gets planted in your head and it's very easy to just, like I said, devote all your time to it. And it doesn't pay off. It's very rare that it pays off. To give you an example, you're not supposed to talk about money, but that last Ocarina of Time seed that I played, it had set up every half hour an ad and I've come to find out that most of those ads don't actually play. Probably because I'm a small channel, so advertisers are, aren't really there to advertise on my videos. Even if I set up an ad break for it. So, out of 10,000 views, I made 50 bucks off of that video. Before taxes. Boom! So yeah, if any of you are considering becoming a Let's Player or something, best of luck to you and don't get too lost in it because it's not easy. Like the people that are big that you probably watch on a daily basis, that's not the norm. Like that is a rarity is what that is. 
those people got really lucky or were in the right place at the right time and their hard work paid off or something. But there are so many people who try to let's play because they know a big let's player and they're lucky if they even break 100 views on a video. And that was me for a very long time. And like I said, it was only because of Majora's Mask Randomizer that I ever got any kind of views to where they kind of are today. Which still is very small in the large scheme of things. So, like I just told you, 10,000 views is basically $50 before taxes. So take 30% off of that, you're left with like 35 bucks. And you could make that in less than two hours if you get an actual job that's even just a little bit more than minimum wage. So if you actually have a really great career, you can make that money taking a dump in the bathroom, man. If that puts into perspective just how much YouTube is not worth the time. <laughs> Unless I guess you collaborate with the right people and set up all kinds of merchandise and use every possible outlet. But some of that stuff has a subscriber count stipulation. Like if you want to sell merchandise directly from or through YouTube, they usually, they partner with Teespring, I think, but you need 500,000 subscribers or something like that. Or 250,000, I think it's the first tier. I don't know. There's a lot of variables there, and you need to be business savvy for sure to really make the most of it to your benefit. But then you look at even a lot of the big people are branching out to other things like Patreon and... I don't know. It's a foolish thing to ever think that maybe, just maybe, a good performing video is going to trickle into the rest of the stuff that you do, and it's going to become a viable source of income. It could be maybe be a good side source every now and then, but I have learned in my three years that it's... There's so many better things you can do with your life. <laughs> and that's where I'm at right now, where I'm just like looking in the mirror like, Dude, what are you gonna do? The gun was fired like 10 years ago. Start running! Shadow Medallion, there we go, we're done. Let's go wreck Ganon. Before Ganon, let's cash in the spiders. Got two rewards, man. Nice. Alright. Didn't really need it, but... What the... <laughs> How do you play this dumb song? <laughs> oh, Malin is ridiculous. There it is. Zelda's reward, another token. Don't care. To Ganon. Let's do it. Still love this cutscene, though. I'm gonna run down these stairs the way that makes the Beemos fire at you. I don't know, I just, I've always liked this. This was such a cool moment every time replaying this game. Especially the first time. That, that's so cool! But, as I said in the way early parts of this, I disabled Ganon's trials this time, and the boss door is already open, so we're just running straight through. We still gotta fight the, the little tiers here, like the Iron Knuckles and the, the Stalfos and stuff. Well, yep. This was a very lucky seed, man. I'm glad, I'm pretty sure this is faster than the, the prior seed that I did. Which I did not expect, especially enabling the token sanity for all the spiders, not just the dungeon ones. I thought that was going to make it way more complex. But that early game was ridiculous. It was like back to back every major item that you could possibly want. Whoa, easy now. I gotta go fight Ganon. Ooh. Actually, that's the thing. I, don't, I never found double defense. Is it even there? If you enable double damage, do they remove double defense? It's gotta be still part of the item pool, right? Maybe this is it. No. 
54 Skulltulas, though. I feel like that's more than I collect in the vanilla game whenever I play. Here it is. Oh, I'm going to take on one at a time, especially when they're all doing this, dude. Whoa, see, target? That would have been really bad if I was any closer. Oh, man. I thought for sure that was death. Okay. He's going to drop some hearts, right? They usually do. Alright, we're good. Trying to get my... Get my... Oh! <laughs> that was the dumbest thing you could possibly do! Holy crap! You know what? It was worth it, though. That's the reason why you do double damage. I wanted to see it anyway. That was a complete accident. I don't know why I thought the hook shot was the way to go to activate him. <laughs> uh... It's so stupid. How dumb can you be? It's okay, there's a free health refill at Ganon, right? Because your Triforce of Courage resonates and he's like, meh, meh, meh. Yeah. Anyways, also sorry for all the weird bashing of video games and YouTube and anything that could sound a different way than I meant it. I still like games, obviously, it's just... I gotta get my priorities straight, man, that's what it is. Especially coming up on 32 years old. Meh, meh, meh. What do you gotta say? Many tricks are up my sleeve to save yourself, you'd better leave. Ah, uh, yes. It tells you where the light arrows are. Into Dongo's Cavern, yep. I think he only does that if you disable his trials. Because the last one he was like, let me tell you what you may have forgotten in my castle. Or what, however it's worded. I'm gonna go slow this time. Because it's double damage and I'm pretty sure this would do... What is it? It does like three hearts of damage normally, right? So this would actually hurt a lot. Which is surprising because it's Ganondorf and there's no challenge here whatsoever. But one slip up, which is easy to do. I mean, if you watched that last seed, I messed up a lot. Dude. Ganon. This is the longest volley I've seen in a very lo long time. There we go. Wow. That was ridiculous. Awesome animation again. Always gotta point it out. Oh, man. No, I normally did forward stabs. I think you could get more hits doing that. Wait, watch. I still wish you could play as Ganondorf, though. There is a mod for this game, or a ROM hack, but as I've said, I don't know if it was this seed or the previous one. It still sounds like Link, though. Even though it is Ganon's model. Ganon Dwarf, I should say. Oh, I thought he was going to stand up. There we go. Escape sequence is skipped once again. Let's just get on to the final battle. Well, yeah, hopefully this was enjoyable. I don't know. I feel like it might be less enjoyable than the prior seed. Just due to some of the stuff I talked about. I don't know. But I don't really know what you guys like anyway. I don't know why these things are, like, your favorite thing that I do. It's, it blows my mind. Hey, it's not slowing down this time. It must have been because of that stupid Windows 10 update that was going on in the background of the previous recording. Ganon, the only boss that gets his name on screen in these randomizers. I guess it makes sense. The big final guy. It's like a, you made it, here he is kind of thing. I didn't even realize that Navi doesn't speak. Do I gotta equip my sword again? Yes. Oh, that's so dumb. I didn't mean to hold the... I wasn't holding the Master Sword. Ugh. 
But yeah, like I said, I still want to record videos. I just know, I can absolutely promise you from here on out, or until further notice, there's not going to be daily uploads. Absolutely, that's, that's stopping. Because I don't have the time. And I need to focus on other stuff. Um, and along those notes, I don't know what I can promise. Like, maybe a randomizer every now and then, if it's even still interesting. And certainly if I could keep it happy and stop talking about the same rants every single seed. Um, may, I don't know, weekly might even be hard to do, depending on how deeply involved I get in progressing all the other areas of life that I really need to focus on. But... I feel like something a month is doable. I mean, there is Fire Emblem, although I'm debating putting up a poll as to whether or not you guys even want me to finish the Fire Emblem Let's Play. Otherwise, I'll just delete all the videos and pretend it never happened. Because um, that is an example of a Let's Play that's really not worth my time to even finish. And... I mean, if enough people were interested in it, and actually really enjoying it, then yeah, I'd just do it for you guys, but I feel like there's not really a lot of you that want to see Fire Emblem, which I understand, it's kind of a hard game to watch. So I'm still struggling with that one, and like I said, I might make a poll about it before I really go about finishing up what I still have to complete. But the two Paper Marios are definitely a possibility at some point. It's just the happiness factor, man. I really gotta get a grip on my mood and stuff. And I just never know, it seems like. So here we go, one more final blow before something in the future, whether it's continuing Fire Emblem or something in the distant future. I don't know what's next. But there it is. Another Ocarina Seed down. That's two for 2019 so far. We'll see what happens. I mean... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Actually, I like this cutscene. I don't want to fast forward through it. Generally, too, like if I do a Paper Mario game, I probably want to complete the series before I even upload part one. That way there's no breaks, which I haven't done with Fire Emblem, which is kind of one of the problems. Ah, yes, one last time for the Ocarina of Time credits. How much I wish that you could just put a sword in some random pedestal and go back in time, that would be awesome. Although the real-life version of that would probably not be so awesome. That's such a cool color of Navi, though, too. Definitely like it. This is still a very sad scene, though, man. Every time. Like I was telling you before, these Nintendo credits back in the day, man. Powerful stuff. But thank you guys if you've made it this far. And thank you for all the support over the last three years and stuff. It's been pretty crazy, and I am super thankful of it, despite all the, like my rantiness that makes it probably sound otherwise. But yeah, I just hope that you understand that mental health, primarily, and financial health even, take some serious priority, and I need to really focus on that stuff. And social things as well. That's kind of like a, the three big pillars I really need to focus on right now, rather than making more videos. So it might be a while till I do something else, but Zelda is still my favorite franchise, so it's pretty likely that I might do another randomizer. I just gotta try to keep it happy consistently through the whole thing. And uh, Breath of the Wild 2, I'm definitely still excited for that, and some other stuff coming up. But uh, yeah, you could always look at the playlists. It's organized under the Created Playlist section. Everything is organized in there. There might be something that you haven't seen that I've done in the past that you might want to watch in the meantime until I return. Because it's not fully game over yet. I hope. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, be, I'll still be recording videos and I'll be back in the future at some point. But thanks a lot, and until then, take care.